says we're live, so I'm going to assume that they can hear everything we're saying now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Social Justice Alchemy. Uh, warning to the lib squares out there. We think Bernie and AOC are dangerously right of center. So joining us at the Alchemy Bench today, we have Jonathan <laughs> and Julie and Jamie. Yes, that's me. And joining us is a special guest today, the Coxaurus Rex. I can hear myself. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And special guest today, uh, King of the Cucks, uh, the self-hating sis of the year, Steve Shives. <laughs> self-hating sis of the year, three years running. Three and years three running, years old, yes. Uh, I am a defending champion, <laughs> and I will, I, will, I will keep this belt until someone takes it off of my dead body. My dead <laughs> You're only blue today, very virile. Thank you, yes. yes. <laughs> That's a Let's play. color, too. Just play the who now. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it, no, no, no. See, the thing is, like, there's a different who. There's a yeah. I'm not talking about the who from the 70s. <laughs> yes, there's a Mongolian band that ha that spells who H U. It's a Mongolian word. I think it stands for human. Oh. And that's like an Abbott and Costello routine. <laughs> yes, yes, and that's why David Scott got like a temporary ban for a little bit. Ah, uh, John, they can't hear us. They can only hear. They you. can't. What? But it's it's playing the desktop audio. What the hell? Okay, let's see. Ah. All quiet apart from Jonathan Mitchell says. Oh, they're quiet. Same. Okay, so let's try this. Try talking now We're and just see if that. Quiet. I'm talking now. This yes. will. This should. This should fix it. Did that fix it? Can people Hello? hear? Hello. Sorry, I screamed. And <laughs> Jamie, you have. <laughs> and Jamie, muted. you have to unmute yourself if you want to talk later, and people to hear you. I know. I think. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that right. should work. So now that now it should be fixed. Now the volume has been. Uh, is uh, everything uh, good now? Okay. 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 Better. Perfect. Better. Much better. Yes. All right, let's see. For what intro music, let's go with Frog, frog Legs Rag um, in Competech.com. <laughs> okay okay not quite the comedy silence i was hoping for there but what you mm -hmm. gonna do i liked it yeah it's almost like if we're watching uh, like a silent movie i mm -hmm. like ragtime yeah i mean you know but then again uh, last know. week we had a uh, mongolian throat singing so <laughs> i'm underwhelmed <laughs> hey, well okay uh, uh julie i do have something for you but i gonna like a go to the vent setting can you hear sound yeah Boom. don't not too loud, please, because a lot it's, of people are he have headphones. It's, it's not too loud, it's, but for Julie, just for you, since this week something special happened. Happy birthday! Now you're one year older. Happy oh, birthday! Fuck you! Happy birthday! You did not accomplish much, but you didn't die this year. I guess that's good enough. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> it's meant it's meant in good humor. That's the happy birthday song by the Canadian band the Eric of Worms. I like it. Thank you. And fuck you. I'm 41 years old. And I'll put the link to the video in the chat and I will stop sharing now. Pants are counter-revolutionary, Sky Pie. No one should be wearing pants. What? Yes, I'm wearing <laughs> leggings, not pants. <laughs> Sky Pie in the chat asked if oh. pants are kind of revolutionary, and they are. <laughs> the... No, All they're not. You are... can wear pants if you want. <laughs> no, Julie, Julie, all all uh, clothing is uh, counter revolutionary. Well, I'm you restrictive. <laughs> See, this is that this is that authoritarian left bullshit. You're telling people what they can wear. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Tanky. <laughs> no, see, if people are wearing clothes, you can't see their tattoos, and that is bad. Exactly. Oh. I'm wearing clothes, and you can't see my tattoos. Just, just fine. You need more tattoos. <laughs> I do, I see. but it's expensive, so. Mm -hmm. it, there's that. But I don't have any tattoos, so I have nothing to hide. 
They, I don't want to see. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Are they your Sailor Moon leggings? Hi, Mylene. Uh, no, not today. It's Batman, actually. And Batman's Batman fashion. Legs. Oh my god, fashy leggings. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's fashy leggings. Shame on... Oh, they're cool. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. But yeah, so Batman is fash. But the t-shirt is like... Uh, oh, hey. Yep. Yep. 8-bit. Yep. Super Nintendo era. Yes. I, I recognize like all of them. Batman's aesthetics. It's mm-hmm. the ideology. I am... Meh. Yeah. Just being super powerful by being rich. Does no, this guy does, does this guy look like a fascist to you? <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's cute. That's not a fascist. He's cute. Of course, he's he's not he's not beating up a homeless person at the moment. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a little easier. Or, 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 or a mentally ill. A mentally ill a mentally yes. ill person. He's not beating up a mentally ill person. So, you know, he's cute now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still the, uh, still the best Batman movie in recent time is Lego Batman. <gasps> Does Batman lives in Bruce Wayne's basement? No, Bruce Wayne lives in Batman's attic. <laughs> I liked uh, the first Nolan one. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember the title, but I like that Batman one. Begins. Batman, Batman Begins. begins. Yeah, yeah, shaky cam the movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. My favorite, I think my Nick, favorite. I kind of agree with uh, Razal something Razagul. I, Razagul. Okay, I almost Ooh. called him Razelanut, which is uh, a Moroccan spice blend <laughs> <laughs> my favorite my favorite movie is the dark knight but i think my favorite mm-hmm. moment from any of the movies is from batman returns when batman takes off his mask to talk to catwoman and max shrek played by christopher walken is watching and he goes bruce wayne why are you dressed up like Batman? <laughs> <laughs> the, moment, the moment I remember best from that movie is when they repeat each other's lines back to each other while they're dancing out of costume. Yeah. Mistletoe is deadlier if you eat it. A kiss is deadlier if you mean it. And then they're yeah. like, oh. And then Catwoman says, oh, does that mean we have to fight now? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> She's that so disappointed. Really <laughs> She's so upset. She's like crying. She's like, does this mean we have to start fighting? It's such a, yeah. That's a really underrated movie. It's a really yeah. underrated movie. Yep. I, I don't think it's the best Burton movie. It's not the worst by any means, but. No, I, but it's, it's fun. I have a soft spot for Michael Keaton, okay? He can mm, yeah. do no, no wrong yes. in my yeah. book. I yeah. even watched that awful movie, uh, Birdman. Oh, God. I never saw that one. That was boring. No, but yeah, he's really good at playing um, capitalist villains. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, another good villains. Yes. Yes, villains he played the uh, capital, the corporate bad guy in the new RoboCop, and oh, yeah. he played Green oh. Goblin in uh, Spider-Man: well, Homecoming. Vulture. 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 No, he yeah. played Vulture. Yeah. But that was. Yeah. But, but, I, I like that uh, character of Vulture in like Homecoming, but more. Yeah, because, I love like, him. I'm so on his side. Yep, lower class yeah. guy driven to it by the evils of capitalist bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and and also I don't know what I, I'm not sure what his what what all of his personal politics are, but he's been an environmentalist since mm-hmm. as long as I can remember. Like he's mm-hmm. been very oh, Michael Keaton Michael or Ke- the Vulture. Ma- <laughs> the vulture. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Keaton. He's Michael Keaton has been a very active environmentalist for yeah. As also, long as he I can was remember. Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's showtime. Yeah, oh, that, oh, yeah. that movie is so movie. good. Oh yeah, so uh, uh, Phoenix in chat said, "Did you ever see uh, Pixar's Cars?" I did. Yes. I, yes. I like that movie, and like he played the villain in that one. Really? Uh, oh, the, uh, what what's his name? Ah, uh, I don't remember. The douche bro racing car. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Michael Keaton, solid. Michael uh, like Keaton, his... that. I would have imagined a younger uh, actor. No, no, the, the main character was played by Luke Will- Owen, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson, yeah. Paul oh, Newman. Oh, so not a, a, that young. <laughs> <laughs> but younger than Michael Keaton, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. yeah but anyway. I kind of disliked Owen Wilson for some reason. Other people get that vibe, yeah. I don't know why. I guess it's the surfer vibe. I don't know. 
Yeah. I saw two movies with him, and that's the the weird movie uh, with uh, Bill Murray on the boat. Oh, the oh, the Life Aquatic of Steve Zissou. Yeah, yeah, I I didn't really like it. And it's Wes Anderson, so yeah. It, yeah, it's weird. It's <laughs> not. I don't think I'm cu culturally able to enjoy that movie, to be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I really like I really like that movie. Willing to Fell was really good in it, uh, but it's definitely not to everyone's taste. And so Wes Anderson definitely has his own style. You either like it or you don't. Well, I liked the Tenant Bombs. Yeah, I don't like yeah, that's the a good movie. Tenant Bombs too. Yeah, and so the the on. The other movie I saw with Owen Wilson is, of course, Surrender, that I loved. <laughs> I do Even though that. it is highly problematic on yes. a lot of fronts, but I, I, it's so funny, it's so silly. I, mm -hmm. Also, I have a soft spot for Ben Stiller. I, yeah. I can't help it. That man is funny. <laughs> Nobody makes me believe my own blood. Nobody! <laughs> what is this? A school for ants? Oh my god, that <laughs> that scene is He's so righteously <laughs> indignant. I love oh it. Oh my god. <laughs> also, it's one of the rare movies where I can stand Will Ferrell and uh what's her name? Mila Jovovich. She's brilliant in that movie. Oh yeah. <sighs> She was in that movie. Hmm. I haven't seen yeah. the sequel though, though. No, I haven't either. And uh, from all I have heard, uh, I'm going to not see the sequel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from apparently heard, yeah. it's it's no good. Yeah, then there's like a tasteless transphobic joke in there as well. So yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, yeah. like the first the first one also was problematic too. So yeah. We all enjoy our problematic media sometimes. I, as an anime fan, it's kind of like have to. <laughs> is there is any non-problematic anime? anime? <laughs> There's. Is there, you have. <laughs> Jonathan, are there problematic elements in 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 the? Anime? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard this. I don't know animes that exist uh, that have been created for little girls are pretty mm -hmm. good actually. And Miyazaki's. Yeah. Really good, yeah. Well, how you mean? Yeah, that's anime. Miyazaki. That's anime created for little girls. <laughs> Miyazaki said that's what he wanted to do, and uh, that's what he did, like with Kiki and uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh Nasuka, Spirited Away, and Spirited Nausicaa, away. and mm -hmm. um, even uh, Prince uh, Mononoke was he, even. He, for for older girls, let's say. <laughs> yeah, for older girls, yes, because of the decapitation in there where the guy's head just popped off. Yeah, there, there's a lot of blood in that one. Mm. That yes. being said, I went with a f when it, it uh, aired on in theaters. I went with mm -hmm. a friend and his six year old niece, and she was like, "Yeah," <laughs> and mm. I'm not surprised because when I was a kid. Uh, on TV, we had Okuto no Ken, and <laughs> even <laughs> though it was part. heavily censored, uh, yeah. there was still blood. And uh, mm -hmm. when he made someone explode, uh, we were like, "Yeah, too." So <laughs> uh, kids yeah. are way less Im impressionable than adults think, and we forget it. We forget about it when we True. grow old. <laughs> Uh, 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 one funny point uh, for, for the English dub, uh, Billy uh, Billy Bob Horton they agreed to do this cartoon movie to do voices. Okay, Billy Bob because, Horton. I know that name. I can't. Uh, he put a was. Face. Uh, he was in Sling Blade. He was in uh, Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Bad Santa. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. He was well, Monster he, Ball. He's been Monster in a lot Ball. of stuff. Monsters Ball. He's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, He's good. I've seen mm -hmm. no movie you have cited. Is <laughs> the primary colors, but anyway, uh, he was married to uh Angela Jolie before they made Brad a Pitt. bad Santa, too. Yes, yes they, they did. did. I, I still haven't you seen You know it, what? Yeah. I'm just going to Google him because I just want to see his face. That's yes, probably once the best you see way his, to do it. Yeah, once you see his face, you'll recognize him. But he wanted to do the voice work for Princess Mononoke. Oh, to do Fargo. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, I, I see. Okay, uh, I yeah. see which one he is. 
he wanted it, it, he wanted to do a movie where he can show his kids to, which is why he agreed to Princess Mononoke. And I was kind of like, even at the time when I saw this interview on GB Extras, I was like, Billy Bob, have you actually seen the movie? Because if you want to show your kids, this that, movie, that's kind of like Bill Murray you. doing the Garfield movie because it's done by the Coen Brothers. <laughs> right. but, then, but Bill Bob Thornton uh, said later in the interview on The Tonight Show that he, that's why he agreed to do that movie and it turned out it'd be one of the most violent things he ever saw and I'm like okay Billy Bob which one? It, Mononoke? Mononoke according oh, to Bill Bob, d- does he voice a character in it? he, he voiced the monk he voiced the monk that was trying to like uh, make a deal and actually like sell the hell the, the head of the forest spirit Oh yeah, so the villain in a way, yes, yeah, one of the villains. Mm-hmm. So what? He didn't think he could show his kids a simple plan, or the man who wasn't there. <laughs> I mean, what? Or sling blade? I mean, or sling blade? He could show the them love, is... actually. Oh, don't! Nobody should ever show anybody love. Actually. Love actually. Love actually. I love, it, I love that movie. It's it should my, be. It's one of my guilty pleasures. It should be illegal to show that movie to prisoners. I know. It be, it's, it's like awful. a form of torture. It's like no, you can't force them to watch this. It's awful, but it makes me happy for some reason. Mm-hmm. It's everything I hate in romantic comedies, but I don't know what it is i like martin freeman's character the best mm. i like the girl who's the love interest of uh, hugh grant the one who swears a lot mm. and the chav yeah because she swears a lot <laughs> yeah, well, you gotta have a character i guess <laughs> <laughs> what's my oh. role in this you you swear a lot yeah. i uh, wanted her to play um what's her name I love that actress. In the Perry Pratchett story, not going postal, I wanted her to play Dora Bell Deerheart. Oh, yes. She would have been perfect for that. Well, the actress who actually plays a Dora Bell is cool, but. I don't know who played mm. her, but. Mm, yeah. That's all Anyways, that yeah. do you have some fishy fashy for us this week? I do, n- <coughs> I do not. I spent all of yesterday sleeping. Mm, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> me, 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 me. Yeah, it would have been better with the guest, but yeah. We have a guest, and we don't even have a game to play with him. No. So what are we going to do with like uh, Steve Size here? Well, little, this is finally your chance to like talk to Steve Size in so long too. <laughs> yeah, you haven't talked to Steve directly you, face you to can, face in forever. You, you can, yeah, you can... that it's been a while since we talked. It has. You can you can bully me about watching Legion like in person <laughs> for the first time in a very very long time. <laughs> you know, I haven't actually uh, gone on with it because no. I I'm not watching anything these days. I'm uh, st- uh, I'm uh, stalking um, uh, Doctor Who and Picard uh, for when it's all gone out, so I can yeah. the shit out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I I watched the uh, pilot for Picard and I liked it a lot, and I decided uh, I didn't want to wait between each episode, so <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to wait until they are all out. I think that's a good call, actually. I kind of wish that I had done that. I mean, also, I, I'm a, yeah. I'm a binge bitch. It's mm-hmm. how it is. I I, I like binging. At this. I just think the way, and I, you know, the the way that the Picard show is paced, I think it it'll it'll play a lot better if you can binge it as opposed to having to take it once a week. I mean, I might actually yeah. go back and rewatch it that way after it's all yeah. out because that's been my only big problem with it is the pacing, and I'm like, oh God, I just. Just get on with it. But if you don't, don't want to wait. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, part of it is a good thing because like I, I finish every episode thinking like I can't wait to see the next one. But then it's also frustrating because it's like, God, can something fucking happen, please? Like I want something to happen. And, you know, if you're if you have all the episodes in front of you, it's not a problem. You can just be like, well, yeah. I'll just watch the next and one. So yeah. as it's a short season, 10 episodes, I, yeah. I don't have a long time to wait. So yeah that and so i i'm doing the same for doctor who Mm -hmm. because i really liked uh last season with uh jody whitaker she's amazing so i want to binge it and apart from that i'm not really watching shows these days i'm i'm too tired if i do nothing i fall asleep Mm -hmm. so (laughs) 
Oh yeah, so I, I sleep in on like uh, Sundays, and I feel like, oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh, ooh, wait, wait, comrade, I bought is at work with uh, the podcast on uh, on speakers. So uh, brace yourselves for a uh, loud voice incoming. <laughs> Tentacle porn. <laughs> also, Marty in the live chat said it's hard to do, referring to the, the talk about watching Picard and watching week three. It's hard to do when people make videos about it. <laughs> well, I haven't hey. watched it. I started to watch it. He said it it was going to be spoilers, so yeah. I stopped uh, watching yeah. it. Well, that's why I've, I've had to avoid it. like half my podcast because of the last season of Good Place. <laughs> Oh man, you haven't seen the Good Place? No, really? Oh, it's not on Netflix oh, yet. Oh, so good. Oh, it's so good. Um, of I've only done. It is. I've only done one video about Picard. So mm -hmm. and I, so I, I, you know, I, I there are. Um, I can imagine if you if you were like a fan of like other Star Trek YouTubers and they, mm -hmm. you know, like someone like I know uh, Jesse Jesse Gender. Jesse Gender has been doing weekly reviews of every episode so like yeah, yeah you, you would have to skip all of those if you haven't watched it but I've, i'm doing the same thing i did with discovery which is i'm doing like review of the first half of the season and then review of the the whole season when it's over so mm -hmm. you don't have to skip too much of sure. my stuff if you don't want to <laughs> yeah that being said uh the fact that i can't go to the movie theater means i am always uh having spoilers for everything so i'm yeah. not that bothered about it it's mm. I'd rather have some surprises, but <laughs> I don't. So that <laughs> I yeah. mean, mm -hmm. th like for uh, what's her name? Um, Captain Marvel. Yeah. Uh, the coolest thing in the movie was spoiled to me. Not the ending, but the coolest thing. The, the kitty cat. thing. The cats. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I already knew it was going to happen and I still enjoyed it. So yeah well that's the thing Here's same the thing. with uh the last uh avenger movie i knew okay. uh the character who died at the end yeah. i whimpered in the in the theater as i saw like that thing floating the character the played by the actor isn't a piece of shit i mean <laughs> oh okay i was gonna say i know of one of the characters that i believe dies in that movie and that made me want to see it i just haven't yet yeah, yeah. I, I'm not talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't get, but I mean, the, I don't think the movies make us really care about her character that much anyways, in my opinion. Oh, well, it's an, I, th I, th I would say that like why I'm still watching some things, I guess, I guess you're all right. Cause like, I'm still voyeuristically watching into someone else's life before my amusement. So there is always be that disconnect, even if like it's in theater and I used to like the theater in high school, even if you're sitting in the audience members and you're watching characters on the screen, even those like in other theater productions we're a part of, we'll have the actors actually going through the audience audience like the beginning of hair would have like hippies going through the audience and giving flowers to all the audience members to clue them into the process so is, is it that's own experience of oh, we're here we're watching these people but we're also a part of it as well i guess the watching movies and tv shows either on a theater or on a computer screen or on this tiny phone as david fincher would say <laughs> how can you watch it on a fucking phone <laughs> there's always be that disconnect so yeah i, I guess consider you right but like if i i if i don't care about the characters i guess i have to be i don't have that something. disconnect with other characters characters just mm -hmm. her character i don't think she's mm. developed a whole lot in the movies mm. she's always here to support uh one character or the other which character it's we're almost talking? like there's some uh, kind of like scarlet johansson oh okay oh yeah she's i mean when it's her turn in endgame i didn't cry i, I didn't really care Mm -hmm. I wasn't happy, but I, I didn't care. And mm -hmm. when the other one did, th that was the valley of the tears. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah, that one. And I, I even don't really like that character that much mm -hmm. from yeah. a pers from a personality standpoint. I mean, yeah. But I don't know. It was uh, very well made uh, in the movie. 
mm-hmm. her wasn't that at I don't know if it's because I don't like the actress or if it's because uh the she wasn't or because misogyny in uh in the cinema industry mm-hmm. <laughs> and so yeah, she yeah. wasn't as uh developed as other characters it was kind of a choice of just like hey well we need a female character so they just chose black widow who always had that like interesting storylines in the books and the comics of being is she a spy is she not a spy and so yeah yeah but, no, 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 she's saying... a monster because she can't get pregnant yeah oh my <laughs> yeah. god that line that that's line her tragedy is fucking... and yeah. no one and it is talking to her and it, it, it doesn't even say no you're not it's okay yeah <laughs> and, they, the and i also just like you? redheads are it, dumb <laughs> uh, ruth ruth says i felt sadder over okai's reactions when they all returned and her dying mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's right it's like also know, that guy is an asshole yes jeremy life, renner's too. an asshole in real yeah life. Yeah. yeah, I just had to laugh the whole time they were fighting over who would get to sacrifice themselves. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna same. die. No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I'm fuck you, fucker. Like... You have more to live for. No. That being said, uh, <laughs> what's the movie? Uh, that amazing movie he plays in that I love. I forgot to tell uh, you. Arrival. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I, I'll still enjoy the shit out of that movie. I, love I don't that they care. They finally had a pointless male love interest. Yes. <laughs> he didn't need to be there for any reason in that movie, except nope. to be the love interest mm. so that she could get a baby. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> ah, so was there like a actually plot derived sex scenes in, in Arrival, just like in like no. Uh, Terminator? No. Uh, well, Arrival's <laughs> not the need a sex scene in that. And it wasn't no. already a movie. Unlike no, the it, we don't see sex, but there's no. definitely. Uh, Chemistry. Tenderness. Do you want to um, make a baby? I mean, that <laughs> that movie is fucking amazing. I I cried even more the second time I saw it than the first mm. time around because the first time. Actually, the rivals one of those movies, just like The Sixth Sense, where it's like I'm already spoiled about the movie, about the good parts of the movie as well. Because uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the rival if anyone hasn't seen it. it well, it's not I, fair. That one you you shouldn't spoil for anyone. But, uh, too late. I saw a video essay that used it, and like, no, but not for just me. for you, but for True. the audience. If anyone hasn't seen it, uh, I don't want to spoil it for them. I yeah, also recommend it, content. It was, uh, does justly says uh, that I ro- I ro- arrival as some really uncomfy xenophobia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, does. the Americans are the, the are the heroes as always. Oh, oh, that kind of so so the, the Chinese and mm-hmm. Russians and yeah, whatever mm-hmm. are always the bad guys, are they? Well, <laughs> not really the bad guys. The communists. Especially, the definitely yes. real actual communists. Especially. Uh, with the ending with Sh- uh, regarding China, I yeah I know it's problematic on some um, points, but I fucking love that movie. Honestly, I haven't seen a movie that touched me that mm-hmm. deeply in the last time a movie touched me like that was the oh fuck was. The, uh, with Hugh Jackman and uh, Rachel Weisz. Oh, The Fountain. Yes. Oh, yeah. my God. That movie. That was a good Holy movie. Holy shit. I still don't know why I love that movie so much because it's everything I hate about movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I did not hit her. The plot, I, I didn't understand the <laughs> plot. I, it was very abstract. Yeah. Like, oh, like well, it's Darren Lynch, Aronofsky. Like instead a of horror, movie, it's you know, a lot of romance. And that's that's the kind of shit I really don't like usually. But that one, mm. oh my god, it touched yeah. me. Darren Aronofsky like, made a trippy, psychedelic. It's, it's about grief. Maybe that's why mystical I liked it. romance. Uh, yeah, Darren. <laughs> that's Aronofsky. not about romance. That's about grief. Mm-hmm. 
Sorry. Yeah, but grief based off of love, love of the lost mm. love of romance. Yes, yeah. but I think it could work with losing a child or a parent mm. or a friend. True. That's... The, the thing that touches you and breaks your heart isn't the romance part. It's the grief yeah. part, in my opinion. Right. And, no, and also, um, uh, Superman 2, the, the, the bad one by Zack Snyder, totally stole the bathtub sex scene from the fountain. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> I haven't seen The Fountain. I've seen Darren Aronofsky's uh, Black Swan, and I loved that movie when I saw it. I thought it was a great movie. But then yeah. uh, a video a move, the video showed me, is like, oh, wait a minute. Darren Aronofsky really just, like, ripped off Perfect Blue. And I love Perfect Blue. It's like, and it's like, yeah. And I found out that Darren Aronofsky actually has a Is that an anime? It is an anime movie by okay. Spice Satoshi Kone. And it's like, it was it's Satoshi Kone's Yeah, movie. bless you. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, Darren Aronofsky actually had to buy the rights to Perfect Blue in order to like make Black Swan because oh. of, like he, the scene for the, yeah scene for scene side by side just like oh wow he kind of like yeah I'm really not uh, an Aronofsky fan I didn't yeah. understand Pi I found it boring and weird and I hated a Requiem for a Dream. Mm. Yeah, but anyway. So yeah, I haven't really watched the you... movies in a long time. Actually, I should watch some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like like Bruce said, it's like the first five DC EU movies, marathon of trash. Why would you? Why would you watch them yeah, when you don't. could just take a really powerful laxative? <laughs> no, but I agree with them. The the first. Uh... <coughs> Yeah, the first DCU movies are trash in all the right way. <laughs> just like, watch, just watch the like perfect a, knitting movies. Oh, well, oh. That, yeah, if they're, they're, they're that, great that, movies to have on when you're not paying attention to the movies. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's a good, yes, exactly. If you're not paying attention to what's happening on the screen, that's a, and you're just knitting, those are good movies to have on to be trash. Oh, Flash Gordon is another good movie to do that too as well. I would say just watch get just watch like clips of Wonder Woman on YouTube, but that's probably the best you're going to get out of the DCEU at this point. Oh, maybe well Shazam. Shazam was really good. Shazam. Oh, that's kind of wait, that's kind DCU. of one foot in, one foot out. Does Shazam yeah. really yeah. count as one of the EU though? I mean, I, well, I think it it, it does. see it it, rec it it exists in that same world. I think, yes. but it's not like it's it's yeah, in I the corner doing its own thing. I thought Shazam was even better than the Marvel movies. Yeah, actually, I didn't think it, honestly. I, I, there there have been some, there have been some Marvel movies that I like better than than I like Shazam, but but I which think, ones? I, I thought it was really good. Oh shit! Uh, the, Guardians. The, Guardi for the Guardians of the Galaxies. I think I would put both of those. Oh in really? Shazam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both Are you a D and D player? No, not at all. You should. You be. would, and if you enjoyed Guardian of the Galaxy, you would enjoy D and D. Guardian <laughs> of the Galaxy is just. A D and D campaign in space. <laughs> Guardians oh, no, of the I Galaxy. Tell, Spelljammer. I can't tell if that's a a positive or negative. It's a like, is that an indictment of Steve's character from you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. I was reading the chat. What did you say? I said, is is that an indictment of Steve's character from you? Is that like, oh, you'd like D and D? <laughs> I have a D and D podcast. Don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to take that. Um, I mean, it's it's a compliment. It does, I play D and D for fuck's sake. Practically speaking, it doesn't matter because I'm definitely not ever going to play D and D. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't um, really make a difference. But don't say never. Uh, maybe one day I'll maybe invite you day. to play a game, and you say yes. Maybe one day don't but, know but, hey uh, steve there are i've, I've there passed are... up on opportunities quite a quite a bit in the past yeah or maybe or maybe you'll be more into a sci-fi pen and paper rpg or cyberpunk pen and paper rpg because there's shadowrun the cyberpunk uh, that also has there's magic. a star trek yeah oh, there's a know, star trek it there does was, a star wars one too i, also, I, rem I remember it's you know it's just one of those things like rpgs especially like tabletop or like pen and paper rpgs are just something that I've just, they've just never, I just never got them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, know, I know I've had like lots of friends and who, who are really into them. And I think, you know, like do whatever makes you happy. But um, like I, uh, I used to date a girl, my first like really serious girlfriend. 
was like super in to role playing games. And I remember we were hanging out at her place once and she was she was uh, making up like uh, a character and it was and it was a DC Comics game. It was she and she and she was uh, going to play Lex Luthor in her in this game that and nice. she was like and, yeah and she was like really excited about it she was writing down all this stuff and 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 i remember talking to her about it and she was telling me about it you know and she was all excited and i said like why not just write a story <laughs> like you're you're putting all this effort and all this time into creating a character and to me as a writer i'm just like just write a story like who yeah, wants to, it's called know? collaborative improv you but I just, collaborative, yeah, yeah and i and i, I get how it, but, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I get how as a writer, uh, it's not, it can seem pointless to you. Yeah. But it's, again, it's not, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't want to, I would never like try to make other people feel like, you know, they shouldn't like it or whatever. It's just not, mm -hmm. it's just never been my thing. It's just, I, that's, that's a memory I've always had of like, you know, seeing someone who I really, really cared it's, about, who was super not, excited about it. And yeah, I was just like, it's not everyone's <laughs> thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was yeah. never too much into my characters either. I I hate role play, mm -hmm. so which is funny from someone who likes uh, playing RPGs. But yeah, I, I, yeah you I totally have been Max or just in it for the combat. I get it. I'm never, yeah, <laughs> I'm never Same ever here. in character. I find it silly. I'm not a very good actress, so and. Most players aren't, and I find people who are a little too much in character very <laughs> yes, campy, yes, especially yes. those who play paladins. I, I am like, stop it. Uh, yeah. Who yeah. butcher uh, ancient grammar or something, <laughs> well, who make up ancient grammar, and it ends up being, yeah, very, it's cringy. I don't. Mm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I've loved when I was younger, so I've seen uh, even when I was lopping, I wasn't in character. So, <laughs> <laughs> Comrade Ibot said in the chat, "No role play. Your sex must be boring." With a stick out tongue emoji. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ace, so yeah, yeah. There you go. So there's that too. <laughs> uh. So should we uh, go on with the politics? Steve, yes. Do you have questions Ooh. about anarchism? Ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta -ta. I um, I, as I think, as I no think, question, everybody... no question is silly. Any any question, yes. you won't be shamed. I'll make well, that's good. Well, that's real good. I'll make fun <laughs> of you no matter what, but not not. John just, will make just... fun of me no matter what, but that's <laughs> well, that's just the nature of our relationship. Yeah. Yeah, John is just an asshole, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I I know I'd be like wait, I'm... only kind of an asshole. Only kind of, because John he likes was... to be a full blown asshole. So. I'll get you, Superman. <laughs> slash girl, slash... <laughs> John would John John would have made if I had spoken to John in the days after my grandmother's death. You surely would have made fun of me for that, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't have. And I, I would have been disappointed if he had. <laughs> I would have been like, "Where's the joke, man? Where's what's this empathy?" And he'd be like, "Oh man, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Where's the joke, man?" <laughs> um, no. <laughs> So, okay, I, as, as I think everyone here knows, and probably most people who are watching know, I am, I describe myself as a capitalist with a very guilty conscience because I acknowledge, <laughs> because I pretty much acknowledge all of the, the criticisms of the current system by people who are further to the left than me. I mean, I can't, I, I, I don't know how to argue with it without sounding like an asshole who's like, yeah, but it's okay if some people starve, right? Like, I just, <laughs> I can't. There's there's no way to defend it, you know, like before you so, continue, I yeah. would like to know your definition of capitalism. Oh hmm. god. I no, something like simple. Definition. Try to be simple. Define capitalism and give as, three examples. As simple as <laughs> yeah. you can. The United States. <laughs> <You know. laughs> um, I guess I would say it would be the uh where the the economy is a uh, is some kind of free market. Yeah, I would no. prefer, so I would that's, prefer that's that it's not capitalism. Okay. okay. You but, tell me what okay. capitalism is. Well, capitalism is when uh, the means of production. So okay. everything are owned by the owner of, of capital. So a select few. 
It's so, not yeah, market okay. because they are market anarchists. And so there's like a ruling class that owns the means of yeah. production, and Ooh. then there's the labor that's like yeah. and the middle that. class because yeah. we always forget about the middle class, which is just a well-off mm -hmm. uh, working class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I ask you to define because a lot of people say I'm a capitalist, and actually <laughs> they are not. Yeah, exactly. They're mutualist well, syndicalists. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess, um, I, and I know, like, I think uh, probably of everybody here, the person I've talked about this with the most is is some random geek, because um, he's always pushing his commie shit. Around yeah, but in, some in random geeks is always uh, pushing <laughs> theory on so, people, and theory his, can be dry. He's always pushing his leftist <laughs> shit. Um, but, but but again, like you're I, loud, you say out those I, ants, you questions. I, I have I have no I don't I don't object to it because I, I like I mean, that he does that. No, I think it's. Not because I think he's going to convince you, but yeah. because some people who watch uh, your shows might. <laughs> yeah. Well, and look, I here's why I like here's what I like about it, um, and then I promise I'll get around to asking a question. Um, I, no, conversations are, are fine. Don't I like <laughs> I like I like it because um, I know of the people of of people I know personally who are leftists. Um, they talk more consistently and with a lot more feeling and passion and sincerity about uh, issues affecting the poor than anybody else. And, right, uh, and, and that's really important to me. And I think it's that's because and, it's us. Because, <laughs> it's a, poor. <laughs> because it's a matter of survival for a lot of them. But I mean, but I just, I feel like that's something that almost always gets left out. Of of mo of like mainstream political talk, like I know in in leftist circles, it's like uh, you know the major topic. But in mainstream politics, it it gets left out, or it gets you know it's sort of touched on as like, well, you know, I think we should support this program or that program, or you know, mm -hmm. we should, or there's like lip service paid to like, well, sure, we yeah. need to do something about poverty, but it's not really it it's not really treated as like as important an issue as I think it is. And mm -hmm. so I will, I appreciate the fact that whenever you whenever you're talking to a leftist, that's someone who is is going to, you know, really, really focus on the economics of it and, and like economic inequality and poverty and the immorality of poverty. And why should we tolerate the existence of poverty? Like these are mm -hmm. these are like really important questions to me, whether I you know no matter what like political category I would fall into, because I just, you know with with the with the with the the resources that are available in the world there's just no reason for it there's just there's no reason yeah. at all for for there to be anybody oh God, living in sorry poverty. to cut you off steve yeah. but mitt really saying uh to david Cog some sort of record we've gone almost 45 minutes with without leto telling you to fuck off <laughs> <laughs> and, and David, David is saying uh, at Mithril, I know I feel rejected. So excuse me, just one minute. Shut the fuck up, David. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and put David in timeout. So. <laughs> oh God, you oh, did Jesus. it! You're, oh, that's, you're mean. That's shocking. That's a shocking abuse of power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's for, you know what it's like. There's a, there's a hilarious moment in the new season of Curb Your Enthusiasm between uh, Larry and uh, Laverne Cox is uh, a guest star on it, and he's he she's going to introduce him at some charity event, and he says, "Look, when you introduce me, just say that you know I'm a Renaissance man and I speak six languages," and and she's like, "I didn't know you speak six languages." And Larry says, "Oh, I, I don't. Just just tell him that. Just say it, just say it to impress them." And she says. <laughs> She says, you want to impress people with lies? And Larry says, how else do you impress people? <laughs> well, David, he, he wasn't making any pun. <laughs> he f uh, well, well, he told me that. You're the one who hates puns. I'm the arbitrary and capricious one. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's, Go it's on. terrible. I, it was very important that I insult David because he was, <laughs> he was feeling sad. Uh, back to the conversation yeah. about like uh, capitalism. What is capitalism? Well, uh, as Lechel no, said. No, honestly, if we want to go in, deep in what is capitalism, we will be here for a week that's why True. i asked him uh to 
give a succinct idea of what it was. And now, when you talk about capitalism, I know actually what you're talking about. I'm not here to... I think it's useless to, to scold people for having wrong definitions. I used mm. to think the, the opposite, but that's how language works. You know, it shifts, mm. meaning shifts. Yeah. So now when people are talking about socialism, I prefer asking them what they mean by that rather than having to tell them that's not what socialism is. <laughs> Because, mm -hmm. especially when I talk with Americans, you guys <laughs> oh, yeah. have a tendency to not have the same, Sasha, the yeah. same definitions as the rest of the world yeah. about you know, political uh, stuff. Another thing is, uh, and, and I, I can imagine it would be like super frustrating for someone who talks about these subjects a lot, like with people who are less well read on them. Uh, like there are, it's not just that the definitions are different like here as opposed to other parts of the world of which I, I, I mean, I agree. I think that's a, that's a big issue. I've, I, you know, I <laughs> virtually all of my friends who live outside the United States say the same <laughs> thing. Um, but it's also like there's, there are, there are formal definitions and then there are the definitions that are lots, they're more sort of cloudy and, and that we use conversationally outside of explicitly political conversations you know so like yeah i mean socialism and capitalism have very clearly defined like dictionary definitions that are used it within the, within the context yeah, but, of like theoretical discussions but it, it, when you're just yeah. talking to your friends or talking to people about politics in general you know it's like well capitalism and it's it's just kind of this it's just this stuff over here you know and socialism is uh is and that it's not side of the force someone you know steve <laughs> no i don't think so i don't think so okay ban someone ban his ass because well, at least remove that but like if he goes gets out of line again then because if it's not one of your friend it just called yeah they just called you a bitch so yeah oh that's, that's not nice if it's yeah, not a exactly. uh, jason or something like Bitches that i don't want what? to hear about <laughs> it it's jason under he's sneaking in yeah Bitches are wonderful. Steve is only okay. Yeah, so the, yeah, it's it's an unkind thing to say no matter which direction you're looking at it from. Yeah. You, oh, John just prepared something. Mm -hmm. You want to do it before we go on talking about? We can do that. Shit. I, no, I have been combing just, Twitter for it. shit takes. Oh, let's do it afterwards to uh, wind down. Okay. That we can do. That we can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That way, that way we can have uh, fun after the uh, Let's series. Let's try work. to mm -hmm. stop uh, cutting, Steve. I say that uh, knowing <laughs> fully well that I am the one who keeps cutting you. That's what I do. I cut people. Okay. Deal cut with people it. off, you mean, right? Because, I mean, <laughs> you're a landlord and you have a knife. I mean, I'm French. <laughs> I cut people. <laughs> and, 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 there's, and France is famous for the guillotines. And so. Indeed. Yeah, you can cut people off of the knees or a little bit higher. Uh, we have salami guillotines. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and so back to Steve. Back to what yes. you were talking about. <laughs> Please. Well, I just no. I, I actually I was I, I was glancing at the I was glancing at the chat and somebody said uh, how <laughs> this it's this comes up like every time I I, I was it Marty. It was, yeah, tea party. I, uh, it was uh, how do you feel about landlords guillotines in the death of Piper? Yeah, Urban. that's Marty I, 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 I about, uh Steve. Hi Marty. Um Hi. I hear about like that's like that comes up every time I definitely every time I talk to Geek and <laughs> it's like <laughs> and it's usually him bringing it up. Um, yes. And yeah, it's like I think you know, that's why she brings it up. Yeah, I know. As yeah. a joke. Yeah, and it's like I mean I it, I feel like it's important for people like who don't get the hyperbole or who don't get the uh, the larger point. What you know? hyperbole? Yeah, exaggeration. <laughs> the exaggeration. No, um, I know. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> I was naked. Oh, Hyper for fuck's sake! Oh, what you was suck. the hyperbole? Hyperbole. Um, <laughs> hyperbole. Uh, yeah. It's like the Super I, Bowl, but more. Yeah. Uh, except, well, I, I but I don't have a problem with hyperbole. A big problem with Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> yeah. But no, it's like, 
like if a person like on a personal level i've always, i i have landlords i rent my place i've always gotten yeah. along wonderfully with my landlords my landlords are really cool people and they're you know i have i don't wish them any personal harm at all but what i would i like to see a world where people have places to live and they don't need yeah. to worry about whether or not they can pay for it in order to have a place to live yes of course like and if, I mean, like I don't see how those two things are incompatible. Like I'm sure my if my landlords weren't allowed to be landlords anymore, I'm sure they would find something else to do. Mm -hmm. you know, like they they would be okay. Like torturing I, uh, kittens. I, like torturing kittens. <laughs> but no, I mean, but for real, I am a landlord. Yeah. I own a fourth of a house that has tenants in it. That's actually my only source of income. My. Uh, 300 uh, meager uh, bucks that I get a month because uh, I lost all my benefits when uh, uh, you moved in my asshole in chief was elected. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shitty banker. Yep. Or bunker. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the guy who thinks that he is a sun king. That's something. Of, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he does. He does. He does. Louis. Th that man has issues, but. Petty Louis. <laughs> John Burns <laughs> is saying French offended that an English person would use a baseball bat to defend his home. A true Parisian was, would use a saber. <laughs> <laughs> All for one and one. No, no. That, Englishmen please don't, use don't sabers. call me a Parisian, though. Yes, yeah, she's from Leon. I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather be uh, confused for an English woman, <laughs> even though with my accent it would never uh, happen. But what if you're Parisians confused for being? What if you're confused for being Be Belgian? What if you confused for being Belgian? I wouldn't don't be confused for being Belgian. We don't have the same hey, Tom. accent at all. Hey Tom. Tom, hi babe. Yes, the, and Tom the and English Don. use sabers. The French use rapiers. Come on. Yes. Come on. All right. Or epis? Don't they use epis? epis uh, yeah. We use all three. Okay. <laughs> we use muskets too. <laughs> so as you were saying, Leto, that you are a landlord, but you would love to like not have owned that property. You would love yeah, to I, I actually, since my grandma died and uh, left it to us, we've been trying to sell it. Mm -hmm. My uh, brother, uncle, and I. But we don't want to. Uh... It's in the bad part of France. Well, it's nobody it's, wants to buy it. Yeah, it's the it's the farm I grew up on. So please don't insult it. Mm. But it's we don't want to to evict the tenants. So no one wants to buy it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So we keep the tenants, and I don't like it. But that's how it is. I I can't afford the luxury of uh, letting it go, mm. you know, mm -hmm. of saying, yeah. well, okay, I give it, I would give it to my brother, but I can't afford it. So if I had a job, I would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like um, being disabled and like in this capitalist system, as we are. Oh, uh, Mylene just said uh, they're trying to force the 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 pension retirement uh, reform that we've been uh, on general strike since December to prevent, mm -hmm. uh, with an article of the law that's called the uh, 49.3, where mm. basically they can force uh, something even if uh, the assembly or even if it's not voted by the Senate or the assembly. That mm. seems like a wonderful thing for yeah macron wants to sell our public service to uh yeah. black rock so he doesn't care about being uh re-elected <clears throat> yeah this is a lame duck mm. uh if we have a tenant uh who lives mithril i'll let you know but it's really in the middle of the countryside it there's more uh, cheap than people there mm. It's an 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 ancient farm, so mm. does it have Wi Fi? Yeah, yeah there's then internet. it's fine. Who it's cares? it's pretty nice <laughs> though. 
it's pretty nice. It's uh, against uh, a mountain. It's very pretty. I was so, born in the Alps, so not mm, in Lyon. Mm. Oh, so you can go skiing. Nice. No, I can't ski. I never could ski because my... <laughs> well, not you, the, the general you. On oh, peut yeah. Skier. On, on peut faire de skiing. <laughs> Shut up and let uh, Steve uh, talk, John. <laughs> no, John can talk. It, well, uh, well I, I'll ask this question to you, yes, Steve. Yes. What is your vision of like a better world? And is it Star I, Trek? The, well, see, that's the thing, right? <laughs> the the start the 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 way life seems in the Federation and Star Trek seems seems pretty good to me. The problem is how how do we get there, like or 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 to something roughly analogous to that? Because, like, I mean, you know, a lot of the stuff in Star Trek is it's 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 dependent on technology that may not ever actually exist. Yeah, that's, um, you know. that's what so the, uh, what, a lot of it uh, is. Trans, uh, Humanness. Uh, Anarcho-transhumanists yeah. are about. So you can't, and I don't think, I mean, you can't, you can't depend on that, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> well, actually. But we have 3D be... printers now. That's basically the same thing as a replicator. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, we could depend on technology to end a lot of issues with pro poverty and mm -hmm. health. Oh, and for sure. Disability, and we don't, so. No, that's, well, yeah, the, you know, there was, uh, what did I, I, I can't remember if it's something that you mentioned to me, Geek, or if it's something that I, I read something about, but just so much good could be done with just minor shifts in priorities where mm -hmm. like, like uh, the, the idea of uh, restaurants make more food than they can serve to their customers. Uh, Steve, yes. now Greg yeah. in the chat is calling you a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have uh, a whole bunch of Star Trek action figures on my desk. Right no, of, don't right worry. We all nerds in that, <laughs> um, in that uh, it's, it's a love of insult. I have I have a framed photograph of Commander Riker. On my you desk. have a Batman Funko Pop. Riker is a fuck boy. Uh, I love it. I was hoping I would get one of those. Um, that 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 was a Christmas present this year from my wife. So yeah. that's 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 the kind of person I am. Oh, that type of doll is here. Hello. Yeah, Daddy Power doll is like here. She is. I believe is she. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is awesome. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Daddy Power mm -hmm. doll is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm uh, actually uh, a cyborg. I have a contraceptive implant in my arm. Mm -hmm. I'm a cyborg. I am technologically augmented. No, glasses don't work. <laughs> it has me inside of you. That's how the dirty. No, wait no, a don't, wait, let's not go there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, I saw uh, some uh, Marty just asked in the chat which of the which of the presidential candidates would make the best Star Trek captain. Mm. Um, I would say, and I'm probably biased because I think I'm probably going to vote for her, but I would say Elizabeth Warren. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm. Uh, she has a plan I, for everything. Yeah, yeah. If I was from your country, I would vote. For, uh, I would be a Bernie, not bro, but a Bernie supporter. But. Yeah. Uh, Star Trek Warren, yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I actually do agree. I do see that. Star Trek has Warren, Elizabeth Warren is a good captain in Star Trek, yes. I actually really like the term Bernie not bro. I think I would call myself <laughs> yeah. that too because it's like I would totally yeah. vote for him in a heartbeat, but I'm not one of the like. I already you know, did. I'm not one of the. Yeah, no, the Bernie bros are just yeah. awful. Yeah, well, and, 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 and and they're Fuck not them all. all really. And they're not all bros. I, I know some mm. yeah. some people who aren't who aren't. Uh, bros who who uh, who are who are like yeah, just but so they are single Bernie, mindedly. They are Bernie yeah. bros, anyways. You yeah. know, they are yeah. black white feminists. They True. exist. Yeah, and <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I, I like I like the I I I, I like the idea of there like, if the, there being a term for people who are who would who are Sanders supporters who are planning on voting for him or would vote for him in the general, even if they wouldn't vote for him in the primary. But they're not like you know. Bernie, you know, uh, Bernie, Bernie bus Zoe. type, Bernie Zoes. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie sis, it's the Bernie sis. The Bernie sis. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think Elizabeth, I think Elizabeth Warren would be the best Star Trek captain, and also um, she'd be the best president. 
So I would vote for her. But, well, uh, I don't agree with that. But... <laughs> I know, but Bernie would be would be perfect. I would. I, I don't would vote, hate I her. Voted... Don't get me wrong. I don't yeah. hate her. If she's the nominee, uh, I'm not going to bitch. You know. Yeah, exactly. she's I, an I, acceptable substitute for Bernie. I voted yeah. for. I, I voted. I voted for for Sanders in the primary last time. Yeah. No. Um. So I wouldn't. I mean, I and if he's if he's the nominee this time, I think that would be fantastic. Like mm. I would. I would. I would skip down to the polling place to vote for Bernie Sanders for president. Let's say um, that I, I am way too close to the healthcare uh, issues in mm. the U, in the U.S. Yeah. to not be uh, touched by Bernie's program. I think his program is very, very important, and I get yeah. that Warren wouldn't be against it. But I don't. Warren isn't really a leftist she's a centrist yeah. liberal mm -hmm. yeah. and uh i can't uh be primary for <laughs> her mm -hmm. but i like her character i mm. think since yeah. the time uh trump uh rolled all over her with that pocahontas thing yeah uh she grew a lot so how do actually. you feel about bloomberg steve <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> bloomberg i think I've, i said this bloomberg is the only one who, first of all, I, I feel like I'm not going to have to worry about it because I don't think he's going to get the nomination. No, sure. but he's the only one that I would that I would I would really be be troubled like to vote for. Like, oh, you know, Joe the, Biden. The, you, you, well, you I would have I, trouble with Joe Biden. I, I would, but not as. I mean, the only the only two that I'm that I'm excited about are Warren and Sanders. Like those are the only two that I'm thinking. Like, oh man, I hope one of them gets it. Like, if anybody else gets it, I'm like, well, I'll vote for him against Trump. Yeah, but I'm not, who, like, super who there is? Who is there? Uh, there's uh, the Rat Man and uh, <laughs> the Rat Light, Man, Trump Light, and uh, and Sen Joe? Is, uh, it's Senator Klobuchar. Oh God, that's what. Um, yeah. Well, the, I mean. Yeah, I'm. I wouldn't be like. I wouldn't be super excited to vote for Biden either. Um, I don't think Biden. I don't think any of the lesser candidates. There's sort of like like there. To me, there's three tiers. There's the top tier of Warren and Sanders, which are. I really, really, really hope one of them gets it, and I'd be super happy to vote for them. Then the the second tier is everybody else except Bloomberg, who I'm like. <laughs> uh, like, okay, I guess one of them would be fine, uh, you know, but I'm not like excited about it. And then the, the final tier is Bloomberg where I'm just like, oh God, this guy's such an asshole. <laughs> and I just don't, you know, I would not be, I would, I would vote for him if the, if, if the alternative was Trump, I would vote for him, but I would not be happy about it. Um, uh, John and, and I, Burns, I two of my French standout, let's say uh, Pete and uh, Clon Bouchard are not centrists. They yeah, are very right much on. right. Not far right, but right. Uh, Warren Small C is conservatives. Center and uh, what's his name? Bernie is left, but barely. Barely Bernie. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Bernie. You know, I, I think that's, that's something. The Overton that... window in North America is fucked. Yes. Uh, that's compared something... to the rest of the world. And that's something you, you have to understand, John. I know you're from Canada. You're not as fucked as the Americans, but still. <laughs> that's that's something that I think uh, Sanders has been trying to point out, actually, and trying to sort of use that to his favor uh, to to maybe quiet people who are who are worried about voting for him because he's too far to the left like he's i mean because he's a he's, socialist well he's actually said he's, he's i know in, sorry in, in i'm the, sorry yeah, he's, he, in the last debate he Biden said Biden is a motherfucker John. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, in the last in the last debate yeah. he said uh and i think this is I, I agree with this i think this is true and i think he's also saying this as, as sort of like a political calculation um you know none of his proposals are radical proposals no um, like people talk about how you way know, far from it I yeah mean. no and, and i think that's true and and they shouldn't be radical they shouldn't be radical here either i mean they're radical they're not radical compared to the rest of the world but they shouldn't be radical here either because i mean if you think about the united states 
and and all of the the things that we're constantly told about this country about how rich we are and how powerful we are and how influential we are and all this you know we're like oh we're the we're the country that we're the the the, the indispensable nation we're the country that everybody else turns to for help oh blah, blah, blah. it reminds like, me from the speech at the beginning of the of the newsroom yeah yeah but it's like if we believe that that's true why can't we have universal health care like why because that's where, not true because people don't turn to us for help elsewhere they turn to us that's... to ask stop ask us to stop doing what we're doing <laughs> you, i know a lot of times the help is could you just not do as much as you're doing right now please mm -hmm. um but yeah i mean well you know uh universal health care is something that has been it was it was first proposed in this country in the 30s yeah and and it actually almost happened at one point so mm -hmm. to think about to talk about it like oh this is just oh come on we couldn't possibly do this it's like really really we it's 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 like completely i mean impossible. in france our president is a banker a trader okay he was a mm -hmm. trader and we have some sort of universal health care yeah mm -hmm. it's not sure. like yeah it's not the like the nhs in in the uk but at least 70 percent of everything is universal health care and that means that uh the state can impose prices on companies so even if you don't have the the full uh shebang stuff is super affordable here I mean, I always take as an example my uh, my contraceptive implant. It's made in the U.S. Okay, it's it's mm -hmm. made in the U.S. It's shipped to France, and here it costs a hundred and thirty bucks. And uh, if I did, don't have a, a private health insurance, I pay. Uh, only 30% of that price, okay? I don't know exactly how, how much that is, but that's uh, like 40 bucks, let's say. 50 bucks to, to be uh, wide. Uh, in the US, that same implant, the exact same, that is made in the US, it costs between 300 and 900 bucks. Mm -hmm. And some insurances can refuse to reimburse you, even if you paid them for mm -hmm. that. That's fucked. <laughs> it's yeah. It, those companies are putting profits over anything else. Then, then that's why well, the... their companies they're there for that. It's the role yeah. of the state to protect its its citizen uh, against the abuse of well. Mm. It should be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it should be. Yes, it should be. <laughs> After all, elected officials are supposed to be uh, at the service of the people. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're That's supposed to be. That's we, why we have been on strike for uh, two, almost three months now. Yes, uh, almost in three. In France. Uh, because we are the boss, for fuck's sake. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you are the boss and you should remind your orange Mussolini of that. <laughs> yeah, so it's mm. like, but... But, yeah, I, I guess I'm an anarchist, I'm not for the state, but if it's here... Yeah, same here, yeah. If it's here, it should not be useless <laughs> 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 to, to the people, I mean. Oh, no, we, I mean, we definitely, we, we definitely agree on that. I mean, as someone mm -hmm. who is not an anarchist, I think I that, know that's we my... agree on a lot of stuff. That's why you're here, you, <laughs> even though you are not an anarchist. Well, because like I, I, I feel the same way that my ideal. Uh, to, to take it back to the question that Geek asked me like a long time ago, I would I would like to see the state actually actually represent the interests and serve the needs of the people and and the most needy among the people first you know so yes. people who people who are living in poverty people who are struggling to uh to put food on the table or have mm -hmm. you know housing insecurity like i would love to see all yeah, of that right now i'd say it's the children in concentration camps oh for sure yes. for, the for poor. sure yeah. for sure and and refugee i got the most incredible comment on on a on a on a video the other day i think it was my i think it was my picard review because i talk about how um uh i like 
I like the way the show is showing that the Federation has fallen short of its ideals in terms mm. of how it in, in terms of how it how it how it responded to Romulan refugees. Mm. And and I said, you know, it's really important for if for it's Americans. not from the first episode, please. Well, I won't, no, I'm not going to spoil. I'm not going to spoil okay. anything. But just that that's that that that's like because I, I think that was in the first episode because there was yeah, like, yeah. The, the interview with the Picard. interview. Yeah, yeah. And so there are all I these loved Romulan that. That made it for me. Yeah. That made it for me. That's yeah. when I decided I loved it. All when right. he said, he said, not Romulan lives, lives, you know. Um, mm, and, um, yeah. He, uh, and so that's that's like a, a big part of where the show starts is that there are all these Romulan refugees that the Federation mm -hmm. just kind of promised it would help and then decided not to help. And uh, uh, I, I said, that's a lot like the United States because yeah. we, we, we're the most the most powerful nation and we should be the leading you know taker of refugees and we're just not and we never have been and we have we, we weren't during the previous presidential administration and we're certainly not now because we take in far fewer refugees in the last four years than we even yeah. did before and and yeah, someone that's left not a, just the u.s though sure no, there are there are a lot yeah i know there are lots there western are, but, countries are pretty we turned away jews in the uh, 1930s yeah there are there are yeah. lots of countries that that no but i mean uh in france we refuse a lot of refugees too when uh mm. countries like fucking lebanon that has been destroyed from the conflict between uh palestine and israel mm -hmm. they take a number uh, a ridiculous amount of refugees and even though they can't really afford it and we are fucking rich and we don't yeah. take them honestly it's not just on the u.s no I know it's not we all here critic our work on countries for where they are shitty but i mean for once, it's not just a yes. <laughs> no, but 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 being 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 an American, I, that it can that you know it concerns me. Yeah, yeah, I get because, it. Because yeah, and and I got this comment from someone like pushing back against that and saying like, oh, the U.S. takes in more immigrants and refugees than anybody else. Uh, and, nope. Yeah, and well, that's and I my first, I, I actually went and I looked it up because I thought, well, that doesn't sound right, but maybe I looked it up, and if you count if if you count everybody including like immigrants, like all groups of immigrants, uh, then yes, the United States, in terms of just a sheer, the, the basic raw number, yes, the United States receives more immigrants and refugees than anybody uh, else. Immigrants but, aren't refugees. Not but it, yeah, thing, that's, though. but if you look at refugees, it, we're, we're close to the bottom and we're certainly- and Sorry, but those Americans have no problem where, when the immigrants come come from europe or stuff no like no not when really. they're yeah, white you're right you're yeah. right if they're yeah, not yeah. from those shithole countries well <laughs> yeah that's i mean trump has basically said that trump has basically said why don't we have more immigrants from norway like just, just because like, just... no one in their right mind from <laughs> nowhere would come to your <laughs> shithole <laughs> country yes. who would want to leave norway to come to the united states it just yeah, yes. it makes no sense at all the golden one maybe because yeah. he likes our policies <laughs> <laughs> he's swedish now that one oh. guy will come but but yeah basically and, their neo-nazis would come here yeah yeah exactly yes. they, they, they probably think it was great but uh, i yeah, don't I mean, think they need to come in your country we have our shitty places true. You know? <laughs> but like we have this you know we have this responsibility i think to the immigrants and especially the refugees of the world to people who are looking for a better life or in, or in the case of refugees people who need to leave and need somewhere to go that we're just completely we're we're, we're completely failing that responsibility and and there's you know like there's no moral justification for it i mean and even if you look at it in purely like you know, mercenary capitalist terms. Refugees are an economic benefit to almost anywhere they go. There, there are communities in the United States, small towns that probably would not still exist were it not for the refugee community that came in and revitalized the economy and mm -hmm. revitalized the culture. And I mean, there's no, there's, there's literally no argument against it, um, other than well, we just don't want them here, you know. Um, yeah. And 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 I feel like it's the same. It's the same thing with with almost any kind of of serious, like major transformative social progress that needs to happen. It's like there's no reason why we couldn't do it. We're just there's just a, a large enough group of people who just say, "No, we're not going to do that. We don't want to do that." And and that's a really shitty reason to to leave you know millions of people 
uh, living below the poverty line or stuck, you know, not having anywhere to go to leave uh, a country that's, that's been borders. destroyed by a war. Or... Borders are silly. Yes, they're just mines drawn in the sand. Well, it's not that they are silly. They make people act silly. True. Patriotism yeah. and nationalism is it's just another kind form of, of the bigotry. same thing. Yeah. yeah. That's silly. It's, I don't know, it's them are less. We are mm -hmm. better than them. And yeah, what the it, fuck, John Burns? <laughs> uh, John Burns is doing his normal I, thing. I just read the chat and I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Is, is sorry i'm i i have to to laugh at that because that mm -hmm. okay let's not read what john burns say because i'm going to ban him again <laughs> yes it's like... and, and use steve to insult him again mm -hmm. i'm so sorry <laughs> right. while you were talking about how silly borders are it made me think of that episode of friends where Ross Aww. tries to convince Chandler and Monica to get married. That is so silly. <laughs> That's uh, all I can you... think of. <laughs> I am offended. Mm -hmm. Yes, you that are exactly show... like Ross. That show is awful. Yeah, well, yeah, it definitely has its mm -hmm. problems, yeah. Um... Ross was abusive. You shouldn't defend Canada, John. You're... We are all from imperialist countries, and you, we shouldn't defend that. Yes, exactly. Then Canada definitely... Defend an ideal that Canada can't become, but what it has been, it's shitty, just as the US and Europe, honestly. Yeah, it, yeah and like, uh, like John uh, Brockman said in the chat, is like the cops in Canada are currently... Send, the Canada is currently sending cops, the Mountie police, to commit genocide on the so so what then people first nation people who don't want the pipeline the going through their land and so and unlike in the u.s uh what's one uh i don't know how to pronounce what's the but one? yeah th that territory <laughs> isn't part of canada actually exactly mm -hmm. yeah there was a lot of it parts it was of... never conceded to canada so it's mm -hmm. not canada soil yeah, there's a lot, a lot of first nations. There are some first nations. Oh, that's nation. fucked. But let's not get into that because True. neither of us are, are from Canada, and mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure we can I don't know. talk Jonathan about it. Jonathan is with practically a... Canadian. He lives way up there. <laughs> I, we, I we can talk about it with Corey uh, on the twenty first oh, yeah. mm -hmm. when he comes. Corey Johnson, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, or we can bring back a uh, uh, Tim, uh, who's a, a Taiki teacher who is also from Canada. From oh from... yes. Yeah. If he wants to come one of these days. Oh, yeah, of course. But anyway, back to like, um, yeah. Star Steve, Trek. do you have questions? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Actually, my. <laughs> uh, no, please. Uh, Finally. Not questions like, what is anarchism? You know, specific stuff that we can actually right. answer, not in. Uh, anarchism is butt stuff. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I got that impression. I didn't want to ask and have it. And boobs. Uh, <laughs> butt stuff and boobs. Yeah, boobs, um, please. Well, it's not, my question is, it's not, it's not that general, but it's a little general. And I mean, just take it any direction you want. Uh, in the butt. It's in. Uh, Shut up, John. Straight up the butt or, you know. Sideways. You can tease a little bit. But um, it, my, my main question is like how would it work and okay, i feel that's like I, very general i know yeah. i know but i i've gotten like because you know it's geek and i've talked about this a little bit and i get the impression i get is that it would instead of instead of like the political system that we have now where it's sort of like there's a there's like a national state and then there are sort of regional states and then communities or you know smaller you know and it's like a tiered government and it's all representative democracy um, instead of that it would be something like a like it would be smaller like well uh, there's communalism community. yeah and the, mutualism. the word you're yeah. you're looking for is communes mm -hmm. yes and and they would be sort of governed through like some form of direct democracy mm -hmm. by the people that actually live there the various yeah. ways people have suggested that i've seen have always yeah. come down to direct democracy and then often they talk about higher levels being either representative or just 
more direct democracy. So right. or liquid away. democracy, whereas delegates instead of mm. representatives. Yeah, because delegates uh, do not make the laws. The people make the laws, and it's just like the that information funnels up to delegates. Well, in a true representative, talks. people would make the laws too. Uh, true, representative would just be here to uh, tell other people about it, to represent, <laughs> to represent, <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh, okay. so 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 they would they would i'm so i'm so white I, would be, I, would... I apologize i'm very sorry for what I. Yeah, direct democracy yes. and that if anything was wasn't immediately work. direct it would be much much actually accountable mm -hmm. and so, so yeah, more and so the, and if there were representatives like the, the representatives would would be bound to just follow the will of the people it wouldn't be like we we elect them and then they well, Jonathan wanted to talk about theory uh, that so maybe you can uh, talk about how it worked in Spain, for example. Uh, well, I, from what well, from what I understand in Spain, from what little I've read and haven't read that like much theory as I claim to have read, um, it, or let's put it, I, th I think what how how it happened is just like for it was an anarcho syndicalist and it was like workers council so like all the shops the, the majority of the shops not all of them but 75 percent of them any of the workshops any of the like stores any of the restaurants even the hotels or the farms instead of having a boss that like has all the power honestly and tells the workers what to do there is no boss the workers decide what to do and it just like makes more sense to for them to do it because they're closer to the factory lines, they're closer to like what needs to be done, and they decide amongst themselves instead of like what the boss decided. And the boss will probably be make decisions based off of like what the board directors wanted, and the board directors makes decisions based on what shareholders wanted. So and shareholders wants profits, but the workers decide, and they will decide for and make do things based on need and at the beginning of the catalonian revolution as you call it in 1936 there was that bloody conflict against franco spain as well as with the state socialists in spain as well uh, there were workers that were willing to like work 10 or 12 or even 14 hours a day for the need of like the war effort as well and that's kind of but that is anarcho syndicalism and granted there is like faults in that and doesn't cover everything but it does well the really... thing with anarcho syndicalism it's a transition true uh, state not like state state but mm -hmm. like situation a chemical state <laughs> <laughs> yeah state of being um so it's uh, a very good model for changing to what uh anarcho communists want true uh, which is uh teaching uh skills to a maximum of people who are mm -hmm. willing mm -hmm. and so the most people can do the most of the work and uh, so you don't have to work a lot <laughs> true and it benefits everyone and right well, that's it... that's the end goal but mm -hmm. Like uh, we talked about uh, what is beautiful with uh, anarchism and is difficult at the same time is that people have to be willing to be, to put a little work in it, to be, uh, to be involved in politics. And uh, I'm not sure people are ready right now. <laughs> right now, yes. Right now there are- I is... find that beautiful. That's- mm -hmm. uh, like 80 percent of the reason it is my ideology i love the idea that everyone uh is involved and everyone has a voice no yes. matter who you are and what you do and mm -hmm. that sounds like a song yeah <laughs> well i think that's a i mean obviously that's a major problem with the present system is that there's just not a whole lot of of involvement I mean, yeah, even, but people, people are not informed, so they well, are kept yeah. uh, not wanting uh, to be involved too. So that's and also, kind of a vicious circle. But yeah, yeah, I think it's a problem. I agree with you on that, Steve. And also, there's a portion of the population that just wants fascism. 
it's yeah. a minority yeah. of the population, but they do want that. I mean, that's the Republican Party. That's their yeah. voters. They're very and determined. They wouldn't, yeah, they, and that's, that's another problem, I think, in talking about that kind of thing, is that most of them would not call it that. Some of them probably would. Um, mm-hmm. but, but most of them would <laughs> they, not they call say. It law and order. Well, yeah, they call it, yeah, exactly. Or they, or whatever, you know, what, whatever, you know, pet name they have for it but they they would they would bristle if you said that it was fascism or that it was mm-hmm. moving us in the direction of fascism they would they would really fight you on that but i think that's the truth that that's that's what it is especially it's really it's been going on for a while but it's really you know accelerated the last few years um and oh god i ch- ch- I need to stop reading the chat when john burns is here <laughs> i'm sorry john burns i think you are very nice but I think you're full of shit too. Yes, I also. And every time I read one of your political takes, I my neurons die. Mm-hmm. I can we can we talk about something else, John Burns? Yeah. Uh, Please. So, so Steve, as you were the, no, but for real. Uh, no, the Soviet Union wasn't anti-democratic before Stalin. When it was the actual Soviet, who were peasants, yeah. uh, who, who well, seized Lenin the power wasn't all that great. during the revolution, it was very much democratic. Not for long, because the vanguard, which mm-hmm. was Lenin and... Yeah, yeah because the peasants the, kept choosing the wrong things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When they... Uh, seize the power it yes. was not democratic and yes. uh, we are not that kind of communists nope <laughs> comrade i but i understand that you have like ml ml and like literature you're fine you're allowed to say don't worry <laughs> you right are back. not a donkey you are you are allowed to be interested in it yes exactly and uh, it is okay. I, and I, I still have like friends that are still kind of like think and they do it on a the, Skypie wants to talk about anarcho-monarchism. Do I have to ban you, Skypie? I think she's joking. I know. I am too. <laughs> okay. Uh, it wasn't very obvious, especially <laughs> with my tone. But Jamie, are you alive? Are you there? Hello? Jamie? We can't hear you if you're talking. Ground control to Major <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> uh, we can't hear you, Jamie. I think w- I can hear some slight uh, white noise. So I think you're trying to speak, but your uh, hardware Tech. isn't cooperating. Uh, so, and please, Jamie, jump in anytime that you want to, because I, I want to hear from you. And yeah, you're here, want but to hear you from- don't talk. It's sad. Uh, I am not now and have never been a member of the Alive Party of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're here. I'm sorry, I had the wrong uh, input source selected. Yeah, yeah. I know, we weren't talking about tacos, so you're not interested. I get you. You get me. Yeah. Uh, that picture Jonathan though of a pizza <laughs> with tacos on it I'm offended okay okay <laughs> for everyone who don't know like Steve uh, in our private group chat uh, sometimes we go on about tacos usually Jamie you bring it up and Phoenix like yes tacos and like oh yeah tacos because in episode 82 when we had Kevin Logan on as a guest yes John Bond. tacos are pizza and then it's just like I, I gave you a thought <laughs> And, and someone said, "Why not both?" Ta- and Phoenix said, "Why not no, both?" Ta- no, no, and then tacos. I- no, no, no. Jonathan, uh, <laughs> pizza is a sandwich, and <laughs> tacos are a pizza. Fuck you all, <laughs> you fucking Americans! I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Steve, I, I is a hot dog a taco you know or a pizza? But I both. am half <laughs> Italian, and I am feeling very offended right now. Well, I just, since we're talking about this, this, this reminded me of something. So, um, are you going uh, to say some monstrosity too? Uh, well, no, I just want to give everybody, since, since there are so many strong opinions, I just wanted to sort of poll the room because, oh <laughs> God, he's going to play the centrist. Everybody. So, no, 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 no. Uh, I, okay. So, um, for anybody who, who, who isn't aware, who's, you know, outside of the United States and doesn't 
really give a shit about our pizza places. Uh, there's there's a pizza chain in the U.S. Uh, called Papa John's that yes. makes pizzas that is, are yeah, a monstrosity. Yeah, that makes really bad pizza. Own. Yeah, it makes really bad pizza, and it's run by or used to be run by this huge oh, asshole racist. who's yeah, the Trump supporter, just a just a yeah, racist, sexist, just a piece of garbage, and but. So I haven't eaten there for a really, really long time, and I don't plan to eat there again anytime soon. But they just introduced this new thing on their menu that they've been showing commercials for all over the place called a papadilla. And a, papadilla, uh, yeah. and a papadilla is basically a pizza that they fold it in half. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a calzone. And, and you eat it like a sandwich. Yeah, so, it's a calzone. It's called yeah, a calzone, it, it, for it's fuck's a, sake. It, it's a calzone with like an open edge. It's like they didn't yes. seal it and bake it. They just they made a pizza and they folded it's, it. It's actually, it actually looks like a pizza taco, honestly. It looks like a pizza. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it could be it could be any or all categories because mm. it's, yes. you know. Because All it, my Sicilian ancestors are crying right now. <laughs> well, and you know what, what it made me think of when I first saw the commercial for it? Um, the, the first thought I had was that's how I used to eat microwave pizzas when I was a kid. Like, uh-huh. how was this a new thing? Like, we used to get the yes. Mama Celeste microwave pizzas, and yes. they were like just big enough. There was like maybe yes. a little, and, and microwave them until they were nice and hot and crispy, and then fold them in half and just eat them like that. So it's yeah. like, I invented that when I was like 10. <laughs> I, I always go, I, I hate microwaving Wait, pizzas. Wait, David Kog go... has a very important piece of information. Calzone <laughs> is also the name for men's underwear in Swedish. <laughs> wow. So if someone says eat my shorts and or as sweet as <laughs> says eat calzones, try to understand what they're saying. They're not sure what they're talking about. Yeah. And Pop Top Express says taco cat is a palindrome. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, it is. I like palindromes. Like and Papa John too. said that he had forty pizzas in thirty days. <laughs> yes, he did, and he looked like it too when he no, no, The yeah, thing is, people did. accused him of eating forty pizzas in thirty days, and he's his response was, "I didn't say I ate th- forty hey, pizzas. No, I said no I body had shaming, baby. Forty I pizzas. Had. So I, people I, began saying, I could, did you have sex I could, with the pizzas? I so what did, you, did you just have them in your house? Like, I could eat 40 pizza in 30 days if I had them. here. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I could easily, to. easily. If I didn't Especially have to, if they're pizza I, bagels. And yeah. honestly, if I Fuck didn't have... you. Ha- <laughs> if, I didn't, if I didn't have, like, reasons to pay attention to my diet, I would. Mm-hmm. There's no reason yeah. why I wouldn't. I mean, yeah, I can't here. eat pizza. There's, there's, I can't get diabetes from pizzas. Well, not... The proper ones we have in Europe. <laughs> you can get Yours diabetes in the from US, a pizza. I'm pretty pizza. sure they're full of sugar, like everything you eat. Yeah, oh, yeah. Everything probably. America's full of sugar. I probably. Mean, Jim Sterling from the UK, when he moved to America, he was so surprised. It was culture shock to him of American bread versus British bread. He was so surprised there was so much sugar or high fructose corn. Yeah, Im- imagine bread. the French going to the US and being mm. presented by with what you call bread. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Jim Sterling says it's like slices of bland cake, plain cake in the American. Yeah, it's bread. cake. It's cake. Mm-hmm. What you call bread, we call brioche here. Mm-hmm. That's actually what. Qui uh, mange la brioche. Yeah, that's actually what Marie Antoinette said, not cake. She said brioche. That's what mm-hmm. we use to make our Popeye's chicken sandwiches. That's why they're so good. Because mm. we put them on brioche. Oh. And I say we like I work for Popeyes. I don't. I have nothing to do with it. But mm-hmm. what we the collective Popeyes, we, we, like, is, we like as a nation. The, like it's a the chicken sandwich job. Like, no, yeah, the, the, Popeyes, the yeah, it's a chicken. It's a chicken job. Yeah, there's a it's a chain of chicken oh, restaurants like, called Popeyes. Like KFC. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's better than KFC, but I haven't had it for a long time. I don't. I'm vegetarian. In France, we only have KFC, and I will never eat there. It's it's like I I'm kind like, of vegetarian now, so yeah. It's it's like Chick Fil A. Yeah. Except without the hummus. That, had good that doesn't exist in my country either. <laughs> That's perfect. I just it's, told you only KFC exists here. Yeah, but Chick Fil A says should not exist, and like the one in UK that opened up, I think. Oh, Chick Fil A! Shut down. I know, yeah. I know, because it sounds like chick fillers, <laughs> and I know because they are homophobic. They are yeah. notorious mm. homophobic fucks. That and close on broke. Sundays. That's the easiest boycott I've ever my my easiest consumer boycott in my life was stopping yeah, was, was you're saying vegetarian, so well but even before I was vegetarian I I, I swore oh, off okay. Chick Fil A and it was oh, the easiest is that is it that bad 
Well, here's the thing. This is that's why it's easy. I, 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 when I found out like how homophobic the company was and how they were like you know overtly religious and everything, like I was like, okay, I'm not gonna eat there anymore. There's there was one Chick Fil A in my town, and before I knew any of this, I went there when it opened because everybody would be like, you know, oh Chick Fil A, the best chicken sandwich. You got to try Chick Fil A. I tried the food, and it was like the biggest. I mean, even for fast food, I thought it was kind of kind of crappy. I was just like, okay, oh, mm. uh, okay. It's like, like, what's like, the big deal it, about this? So, is it like the Mcdonald's of chicken? I yeah. I would take McDonald's over Chick Fil A well, most of the time. They don't really put anything on the burgers. Okay, the, I the have. Sandwiches. I I am under <laughs> the impression that your McDonald's are better than ours because, like, it's Probably not. the worst the worst thing I have ever it, eaten. It's, it's not great. I think McDonald's, Mc, McDonald's food has gotten a little better over over the last 10 or 15 years but it's still not what i would call like good it's you know yeah. it's what you would eat when you're hungry and there's nothing else yeah. <laughs> you, you know? says andy warhol would make a sandwich with a chocolate and call it cake and i feel compelled <laughs> to say uh fuck andy warhol anyway yeah. is it is it a guy uh valerie solon i wanted to kill andy he's warhol the guy who a- did the Painting of the Chick Campbell suit cans. Yes. No, I know. And Marilyn is, Monroe. But... Andy Warhol is he is the guy, is he the guy that Valerie Solana I wanted to kill? Maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay. I wish yeah. he. I wish he would succeed. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we did, uh, you because know what? that means he's a rapist piece of shit. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck Andy Wouldn't Warhol. surprise me. Yeah, knowing the parties that he would host, yeah, or the one famous party he hosted, yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Uh, so, hey, good. Since we're talking about food stuff, good transaction into Fishy Fashy Friday. If you prepare yeah, for uh, it. Wait, wait for me just one minute. I need to okay. go. Uh, uh, I'll explain my the water rules. To bottle Steve. And, um, sure. I'll be, and take your meds, babe. Take your meds, babe. Take your meds, babe. Okay. So, the rules for. So, Fishy Fashy Freak Out. Because it's not Friday, Jonathan. What the fuck? All right, fishy fishy freak out. Sorry, <laughs> I, I dig through uh, to, through Twitter to find shitty takes from people who are not left wing. They don't all have to be fash. Um, there will be three of them. Two of them will be real. One of them will be slightly altered by me to be fake. Which, because some of these people are super ridiculous, is kind of hard to do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Like last week, you have no idea how hard it is to make Andy and go sound even more ridiculous than he actually is. And yet we still believe it. We're just like, it's Andy Go. He can say anything and we'll believe it. Yeah. It's only Phoenix that actually got it right. Like, I, I had to combine three of his tweets into one to make him sound ridiculous. <laughs> so in this game, you just have to find out which one of the three is the fake. It's just like, wait, wait, don't tell me. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or actually, I stole this from. Uh, da, 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 and da, I am da. back. Hello. Uh, I stole it uh, from the Skeptics Guide to the Universe. They have a similar thing. Okay. All right. So they, so they stole it. They they stole it from. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Probably, probably. Don't you dare making fun of my shitty accent. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a lot of progress. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. No, I haven't. <laughs> All right. Um, first up, we have the Ant Man, Eels Miles Chong. I've have you explained the rules? Yes. To... Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Good. Um, who says that uh, we can't blame Trump for racism? In quotes, because he's Wait, proven himself. Wait, which one is it? This is Ian Miles Chong. Okay. I, okay. <laughs> no, because Ant Man, I never know if it's him or Andy. And go. Mm. Ah, yes. Um, mm. Can't blame Trump for racism because he's proven himself to be a blessing to minority income and employment. And we also can't blame him for the economy because of the coronavirus outbreak. What? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next up, we have Bill Maher. That, sound, that sounds like <laughs> him. <laughs> Next up, we have Bill Maher, hmm? who says that the Dems... Instead of having their debates in front of Democrats, should be having their the debates you in said front the of Dems. Your southern <laughs> accent picked out a little. The Dems should instead have their debates in front of conservatives because the conservatives will actually be voting in November. What? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. And Candace Owens. Wait, Bill Maher? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Candace Owens. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, 2,800 people. Mm -hmm. A white black woman. Black woman. Yes. Yes, yes, the white black woman. <laughs> the, the white black woman. The black, white, the black woman, white feminist, yeah. Yes. No, In response to feminist. Alexandria no. Ocasio-Cortez, um, oh, AOC said that Mike Pence literally does not believe in science and so should not be in charge of the coronavirus. Yes, thing. I saw that tweet. Mm -hmm. She's so right. Candace Owens says that AOC literally does not believe in history. 2,800 people have been killed from coronavirus, zero in the U.S., and socialism has killed 100 million people in the last 100 million years. <laughs> wow. Communism <laughs> killed 1,000 billion people. <laughs> Stalin was worse than Hitler. And and uh, j step back history. Tristan Johnson. Uh, uh, little I know it's history, and you don't like it. But uh, Tristan Johnson did a, a excellent video yesterday. Is I social don't sort of threat. care about him. I, just, I don't know him, but <laughs> but he did an excellent video debunking that like figure of the 100 million deaths by caused by communism. All right. So those Who are your cares? three it tweets. It wasn't communism, anyways. True. <laughs> exactly. Also, like if you we want to talk about economic systems that have killed people uh yeah. <laughs> yeah the number of people who cannot afford health care uh and died as the u.s killed half a million people in iraq high. just in the last 20 years i mean yeah. yes yeah. all right so those are your three tweets ian miles chong says trump isn't racist and isn't responsible for the blip in the stock market bill maher says dim should be dating in front of dating debating in front of conservatives <laughs> <laughs> And Candace Owens says that AOC doesn't understand history, that socialism has killed 100 million people. Okay, Steve, you're the guest. You're so you first. get to go first. Ah, Which one is bullshit? I mean, it's like throwing a dart at a wall. They're all so plausible. Yeah, that's because John only slightly modifies yeah. one. I'm going to say the third one is the bullshit one. Okay, Candace Owens. Yeah, I agree. I'm saying that one too. Okay, Jonathan? I got a bunch of D6s. <laughs> oh, Two no. more. You and choose. <laughs> Stop being a coward with your dice. Ex dice. Kansas Owens, I am a coward with dice. I'll let the dice decide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ant Man, what's the fake one? Okay. And Jamie. What's you one? know, it's that's one that's fake. Uh, I say Candace. Okay. So you all agree that Ant Man was real and Ant Man? No, Jonathan said it wasn't real. Oh, okay. well, I my dice roll said that. No, like, you said your dice can't can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I let the dice Speak decide. My own dice, let it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Speak for your own dice. Okay. <laughs> well, in this case, Ant Man is real. Um, he was responding to a tweet by at of Middle Age Riot. Of course he is, honest. <laughs> that man is a moron. Middle Age Riot's nice. tweet was, a question for Trump supporters, was the racism really worth the complete financial ruin? Hashtag Trump crash. Um, I, it, I have to do something before you go on. Okay. Jonathan, in your butt, in your butt, <laughs> in your butt, in your butt. We're not, we're not sure if you won, though, but yes, no, I did lose. No, but you lose. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if uh, I lose, you win. Makes sense. Yes. No, no. If you lose in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Leto's getting pedantic today. You you haven't <laughs> listened to the show before, have you? That's a photo. You should, though. I am always pedantic. Mm -hmm. I am French. <laughs> so after middle age riot went a little bit viral there you know 5400 likes 1400 retweets Ian Miles Chong got super jealous said how is this tweet viral blaming Trump for racism when he's proven himself to be a blessing to minority income and employment is one thing blaming him for the sudden state of the economy which will recover in short order due to the coronavirus outbreak is another ignorance wow <laughs> Oh, which tweet that, only got 50 retweets rich. and 139 likes so that moron <laughs> calling anyone in your ignorant is is uh, it's funny 
All right. Now, um, let's see. I believe the remaining three of you all said that Candace Owens one was fake. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Exaggerated, not fake. And it is real. Oh uh, my god! It no one wins. Yes, um, Alexandria. That well, means I win. Our butt, I in our butt, in our butt, in our butt, in all of our butts. Yes, AOC did say that Mike Pence literally does not believe in science, and Candace Owens said that AOC literally does not believe in history. She actually said the twenty-eight hundred people, the zero in America, and socialism has killed hundred million people in the last hundred years. So hundred million people. No. <laughs> So I exaggerated Bill Maher's tweet slightly. Okay. He didn't say that they should be debating only in front of conservatives. They should be debating in front of a crowd that includes conservatives. Ah. Oh, yes. Mm, yes. Sneaky. Um, which is what they're actually doing because their debates are being held at venues with like $2,000 ticket prices. So, yeah. Um, which is why like, Bloomberg got so many cheers last yeah. time. Which was kind of <laughs> yeah. weird. Like, what are they cheering Bloomberg well, for? <laughs> Isn't it's because it, it was, it was all of his friends. Yeah. Aren't those debates for the Dems primaries? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And Michael but Bloomberg it's still a $2,000 ticket price for the cheapest seat. Like $1,700. Yeah, that was seat. funny. Just get tickets to wrestling. wrestling. Just but wrestling tickets are way cheaper than that. Just go mm, yeah. to wrestling. <laughs> Besides that, like it, 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 Carl Massa said this on Twitter, it's like, why would anyone be informed by the debates? It's like they don't really like explain their their policies. They don't have time to. It's more of just like gotchas or sound bites or mm -hmm. and maybe the like zingers. And Policy we'll doesn't make for exciting television. Well, and, and the exactly. last the last one was really bad. The last one they were just arguing, talking over each other almost the entire time. It mm -hmm. was it was mm -hmm. hard to watch. Yeah, that's why if I have not seen any of the debates apart from the first one from this season, because like you you can find out what the candidates' policies are from their websites, yeah. and like and so you can make your decisions from that. I think it's just all just theater now, and yeah. just like yeah. I mean, it was fun to see Elizabeth Warren light Mike Bloomberg on fire, like live on stage for, and then the <laughs> the next the, the the one before the last one, but. Yeah, some people say it John was unfair. John says you didn't use the Bill Maher doucheness, <laughs> so I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, I despise on. the media and their single-minded focus on making every debate a cockfight. And Dems would be better served <laughs> in having the debates in front of a crowd that included conservatives, who will be voting in November. <laughs> so. But not in any of the primaries no. Bill Ma Bill <laughs> that, Ma these, that these debates are for. He said he despises the media <laughs> <laughs> because he's kind of part of it. So yes, mm. well, but he's not a Jew, so it doesn't it's, it doesn't really count, mm. isn't he? Maybe no, he said no. He's that no. Actually, I did watch the movie, his documentary, Religious. Yeah, I like the. And he's half Jewish. He has the Jewish mm. mother. Oh, that he, makes him really Jewish because it yeah, goes yeah, so, so yes. you, so by he's the law Jewish. of Moses. By the law of Moses, true. Yeah, it's like yes. the egg comes down one fallopian tube, the yarmulke comes down the other. That's that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, no one is Jewish by their father. We are Jewish. I, I think he was mother. actually. I think he was actually raised Catholic, wasn't he? He was probably. Yeah. He, he yeah. talks about that. Probably. <laughs> 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 probably. Who showed us that? Uh, I was shown that. Uh, what's his name? Dawkins. Uh, mm -hmm. said he was a secular Christian, not an atheist. Mm -hmm. the, the, the people, no, seriously, people are like that. They mm -hmm. just like, and I will Your country is fucking yes. weird, I swear. Yes. Hey, Dawkins isn't yes. part of our country. <laughs> True. Dawkins isn't uh, our yes, fault. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, just, yeah, excellent. Yeah, just like, it's like, we are so, the religion is so like prevalent in our country and around the world, honestly. Don't forget Islam. It's only like, like a, when I did research, it's like, Rim, is that true that the majority of people are atheists? That's the norm? It's like, not really worldwide. It's like, the norm is you're of some religious affiliation. And of course, like here in America, we have. The spiritual, not religious, and I used to be in that part of category. Yeah, but I have nothing against people who would say they are spiritual, not religious. I have True. a problem against 
a motherfucker like Dawkins who says, actually, <laughs> I'm a, a secular Christian. What the fuck does that mean? Like secular Jew. He was raised Christian. Yeah, now yeah he's but there's, there's some culture to Jewishness. There's no yeah. one Christian culture. It doesn't exist. There there's is in England. Uh, to, to go, to, well, <laughs> and that's, I, the, that's the correct Christian culture. Yeah, because I'm, that's not the same. I mean, there are some Christian cultures. Mm. Uh, yeah. F1, briefly, I'm gonna just interrupt. I'm gonna replace uh, one charity link into the live chat. Joanna, uh, Joanna Roberts, our friend, uh, always needs money. Always needs money, and she just messaged me if she, if, uh, she can get like at least thirty bucks so that she like uh, get mm. dinner for tonight and stuff like that. And please help her out. She's going through a rough time based on her posts. Which yeah, I'll share some of my birthday money with her too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Once so I have had my hair done because I can't go on in life with that face. I'll but probably, yeah, I'll probably. That's do. not possible. I, yeah. I can't yeah. even describe what I look like right now. Uh, I, I, uh, if, if I could just step back to uh, the discussion of, um, of uh, the single Christian church uh, culture. I, I think that we all know that the one true church. Uh, <laughs> it's right there in the name. Like, exactly. The work is done there for is, you. Yeah, there's, there is a singular true Christian church culture. I had a, there was a comment. What? On the... I think I have missed a joke. The one uh, true that's... church, Michael Worley's church from. Yeah. From oh, my okay. I don't, I don't watch that show of you steve actually because i watched the first episode and that guy when i said he scares the shit out of me i'm not too joking well there, steve. he's he's yeah he's not you really i i i'm not used to that it, they don't mm -hmm. they don't exist in my country i swear that this fucking mm -hmm. scary douchebags got, with hair pieces i'm sure they I, do. yeah i know <laughs> i got a comment on that the most recent one from someone because there's a there's a joke in the middle of it where I'm he so cut, that wig for fuck's yeah. sake he, <laughs> where did there, you find that i from amazon <laughs> oh of um, course there was a there's a joke in the middle of the new video of the most recent video where he's 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 been having trouble finding commercial sponsors lately mm -hmm. but he finally gets a sponsor for like a, a conference coming up but he doesn't like them because they didn't invite him so he comes on before the commercial and he's like i'm i took their money and i'm going to show their commercial but just to teach them a lesson i'm not going to watch it and uh, <laughs> someone in the comments someone in the comments said yeah i didn't watch it either solidarity my god I, I love that i love that comment uh. <laughs> Oh yeah, so it's like I, 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 back in the like the atheist days, there was like this one guy like a, who is doing a parody of the church people on YouTube, and my one of my brothers was like, "I am wait a minute, is that guy real or not? Is he a parody or not? Is he satire or not? Because I can't tell." And my brother said, "No, he is satire." So I was like, "Unfortunately, based on the comments like in those old videos, no, some people truly yeah. believe." It. Like, should we to be, like, believe the Bible that has actual unicorns in it or the other Bible where it translated into a magical horse instead? <laughs> I mean, that sounds about, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, it, it, that first episode scared the shit out of me. I, mm. Michael got... Worley is not a pleasant person. No, he's not. He's, <laughs> no. He, I mean, he's not meant to be. <laughs> we we walk, but it's like we walk when me and and uh, Christopher, my my writing partner, when we're when we're talking about it, it's really like we we try to. Oh, strike... is it Christopher from from, from Pierre the Chef? From Pierre the Chef, yeah. Oh, I yeah. like him. So now yeah. we he's know a, where the funny comes from. Role, but I like him. He's yeah, he's <laughs> he's he's a great guy. He's I've known him for God. Oh, a long time and uh, when i watched your episode where he was talking about losing his uh steps on mm. oh. mm. i cried the shit yeah. out of that was yeah. oh yeah they've had some they've had some tough times like is he getting any later. better regarding that uh yeah i mean they're you know that's good they're moving on i mean it's like life goes on they're, it's not like uh they're not like actively well you know yeah. grieving anymore but yeah it's um, but yeah, we, we talk about like Worley, you don't want him to be likable. Like you don't want people to 
be on his side like ever but at the same time you don't want him to be so like repellent that nobody he can is, watch he is so know? Repellent. i know for you he is he couldn't watch <laughs> yeah, like, joffrey for 20 minutes <laughs> yeah you don't want him like you want to be able to laugh at him without feeling sympathy for him because i know i think uh, in your culture uh you you are all I, in your culture, <laughs> I'm silly. See, there is a in Christian a, culture. Oh, in the U.S., you are used yeah. to see. I think it's funny for you, but for me, I, it's a little too alien and yeah. a little too mm -hmm. aggressive to be funny. I, if I saw something like that in my country face to face, I would beat the shit out of him with my <laughs> cane. Yeah, that's how scared that I would be for real. I, I hate those kind of people well, and, and yeah we don't have the televangelists in in france so well Oof. you've got you've got that on us you're ahead of us as far as that goes <laughs> i mean but you know there I've, I've i get comments from people from this country who say similar things who say like i get it i get the joke but i can't watch it because it's too close I mean, oh. jo it, well yeah. jo joffrey is so close to my younger brother and how he just like hates all those movies that you like mentioned and something like that he's yeah. not i don't talk to him about politics so who's yeah, joffrey joffrey's the, the, sea, the lion. sea lion joff from stephen stuffy yeah oh joff, yes yeah. yes 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 the mm -hmm. ben, the, ben, the the sea lion who talks like ben shapiro joff, okay i i didn't know it was yeah joffrey mm -hmm. yeah the yeah uh, but we don't see him anymore no, no, he probably right. won't be back for a while. Yeah, oh, good. exactly. Good. Yeah. good, I don't like him. Is he yeah. gonna? <laughs> he won't Is he be gonna go on a bender, I... get hooked on heroin, hit yeah. rock bottom, find Jesus? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Uh, he he won't be back until I come up with a really really good idea for him because I feel mm -hmm. like I've said everything I need to say with him. Him, Give him, him a lot of piercings tell and me, tattoos. Tell me he's a sea lion on purpose. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Good. of course. Yeah. I because I, I thought so, and I was telling myself last time I watched and he was there that maybe I was mistaken. I don't know why. Yeah, no, he's yeah, he's supposed to be. Actually, I was the uh, the first the first time that we actually cut to a shot of him. I was hoping that that would get a laugh because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, we built him up as like, you know, this character and then you actually see him for the first time and it's like, oh shit, he's a sea lion. And, yeah. You know. As soon as I realized that I busted out laughing. <laughs> yeah. Which, which, which was the, which was the hope. That was the hope. Um, but yeah, he's not going to be back. That was a great joke. Yes. Yeah, I don't know you. if you saw, but I don't know when I sent you a YouTube video, uh, with Madame Mutes. <gasps> yes, yes. Which and are the? It was funny. Oh yeah, and they're because like because the... Madame Mutes are so much better than Yusuke's, anyways. <laughs> they're and they're oh, they're such well, great dogs. Well, they're they're cuter. They're oh, yeah. so cute. They're such great dogs. They're, I mean, they're, they're Malamutes fluffier, are just... so you know they're, me they're, and fluffy. They're they're, yeah. Oh, who turn they're their Yusuke's, back? They're fluffy Yusuke's, basically. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're huskies who turn their back on uh, the great and mighty husky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I, you know, I've never quite worked out like what I know. I, I know that huskies, like uh, huskies that follow Millicent's religion, like don't like Malamutes, but uh, I've never quite worked out why. It's probably something to do with like they think that they're imposters or something. Like they they think that they're like <laughs> no, they're, they're jealous a, because they're, they're a mockery. Of them. Yeah, probably, but. Yeah, they're they're descended from. You, you could just pull a book or uh, a book of Mormon and they say that they uh, they they are descended from. Oh, uh, those from who? It's yeah. been a few years now. We are getting Mormons in France. Oh, oh no. lucky you! Yeah, you you're exporting <laughs> anti-vaxxers and Mormons. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and private health care. Yeah. Mm. Oh Jesus. Well, you know, we I, already I, have that in France, anyways. But it's you still do? like I said, yeah, thirty yeah. percent. Oh, okay. Well, we've got our we've got our eyes on the UK now. You know, mm. we're trying we're we're trying to wreck their national health yeah. service. Yeah, uh, they don't need you with Boris <laughs> no. Johnson, um, honestly. No, Trump will make it easy. He'll say we we need our companies to be able to come in and make more profits. And Johnson will say profits. There you go, privatize. But I love all uh, that. Steve, uh, mm. that apart doll is saying, all praise the son of us go. 
Mm. A Malamute kissed the son of Usko for 50 <laughs> silver pieces. <laughs> that would be great. But in, oh, in that's the, a Bible reference. I got that one. But in the in, it's in the Judas, husky. isn't it? Yeah. You know how I know that? Because I read Lamb from uh, Christopher Moore. Mm, yes. Who is a genius? Lamb Buddy Christ is the, is, yeah. Yeah, is it's the uh, gospel Biff, the brother of Christ. Biff, the, Biff, the, the, of Christ. the best, the best mate of of Christ. <laughs> yeah, in the uh, in the husky version, though, son of Husko doesn't doesn't get killed. He he would probably kill the Malamute that betrayed him. Uh, I think that was that was uh, there. There was a joke in a husk in a, a stuffy episode where that was part of what Millicent objected to about uh, the way she tells it, how Christianity stole the story of Son of Husko and made it into the Jesus story. And she was like, and then they killed him. Like, <laughs> like why would the why would why would he let himself get killed? Son of Husko didn't let anybody kill him. <laughs> like he, he was the man. He, you know, he, he kicked ass and then he ascended to heaven on his own terms. You know, he didn't let anybody kill him. Yeah, if you like fiction, you don't know uh, Lamb. Uh, Christopher Steve, Moore I, is pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah, everything he writes is cool. But it's even it, the fact you were, you you add. I'm going to, okay, one, two, three, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fact you you made uh, an eight an atheist thread and you read so much bullshit from uh, oh, yeah. creation, not creationist, but uh, ap apologetics. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I Apologists. think um, Lamb would be a very refreshing uh, read for you. Okay, it's, oh. it's one of the funniest books I have ever read, and it manages to still be uh, respectful of Christianity while satiri satirizing the fuck out of it. And mm. there's kung fu and sex and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, beef, uh, Christ's best mate. Uh, what's the name of the book again? Lamb. Oh, Lamb. Yeah, From, I just looked okay. it up. I'll, Christopher uh, Moore. I will, Christopher I will Moore. make a note that to book read this. That book is yeah. it's genius. Honestly, it's one of the best books I have ever read. I should read it in English. I've now, read but... several of his books, and they are Yeah, phenomenal. I read almost all of his books. My favorite of his isn't even Lamb, it's Fluke. The one with <laughs> the whales. <laughs> because he's so fucking weird but mm. i like weird yeah read lamb <laughs> all right i will and i am reading more so i will eventually get to it's like... fiction it's uh oh, not yeah, I will something read... it, it's not it's not david or... it's, it's, it's yeah I, don't worry, little. I can read fiction too. I just finish. finish. <laughs> I know, but I know these days you are not into fiction. That's why. That's well, why I did read that. fiction. I read the, like a uh, uh, David Kobe's one of his books, uh, "The War to End the World." And so, are read. you uh, entering Graeber so far? I, I well, I already read "Bullshit Jobs: A Theory." I love that book, yeah. and I thought, like, oh wait, there are examples from. Like, I mean, he's he's an amazing writer, so he's yeah, funny. I, agree. I I like that guy, but but uh, you already know that I'm a fucking fine girl. So true. <laughs> you know, everyone just like even if you don't can't get access to the books, he, there's plenty of talks that David Graeber gave about like death. Yeah, uh, Steve David Graeber is a modern day uh, anarchist thinker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, quote unquote, and uh, he talks about. Uh, all the parasites in our society, like the little bosses and stuff like that, yeah. in bullshit jobs. And uh, mm -hmm. oh, Jonathan Steve? is currently reading Debt, the yep. 5,000 5, first years. Is the first 5,000 years, yes. The first 5,000 years. Which and, was an uh, international it's very bestseller. Interesting. It's, even if you're not an anarchist, uh, yeah. it's okay. very, very interesting. Well, uh, especially he's, he's cool as fuck. He's a dork, and I oh him. yeah, <laughs> so enjoy the talks with like David Graeber and stuff like that. He always liked to have a lap, and like he's a professor of anthropology at London School of Economics, and he was at Yale, but then got let go because he's an anarchist. He's just like, wait a minute, why do I have to like bow to you as the head of the department? I was like, I'm, I won't be disrespectful, but like. No, I don't have to like take orders from you. So. Fuck you! I won't do what you tell me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was told by his girlfriend, "Oh, you just David, you can just be yourself and be fine." Okay, I did, and I was let go from Yale. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, but uh, yeah, so, yeah. Tea Party said another book that uh, the seed won't read with the stick out tongue emoji. But <laughs> uh, it, well, why I like debt the first half of the year since you already did the uh, Trek Ashley video about economics of how like the uh, and your read two economic books about Star Trek for Trek right. economics. Uh, I, what I like about David Graeber's book is that in his research, it's like people always like assume that like. It is an old economic textbooks that like the reason why we have money is because we have barter. He always said butter, and we couldn't agree on how many chickens for a cow. And <laughs> yes, but that was imagined. Even they, Adam Smith himself, instead in the wealth of the nation, imagine a situation, and it's just like. Has there been a society where I they don't think water? you need to read Graeber though? The yeah, you could just he's, find he's his talks. He talks, talks on YouTube about trust. Mm -hmm. Delightful. I I love him because he's. I I wouldn't be surprised if he was autistic because he's always yeah. very awkward and mm -hmm. his jokes only makes him giggle and me. <laughs> yeah, too. and that's something I find very endearing. I. And also, it's refreshing to see an anarchist thinker who is not dead or. Like 130 <laughs> years old, like Noam Chomsky. Unfortunately, he is, you know, yet another white guy. But we can get yeah. on that. Uh, yeah, it's not really uh, his oh, fault. Uh, Steve, uh, Joanne, uh, yes. uh, Joanna sent me a message and said, uh, "Like, uh, give a uh, pass off a thank you to Steve, and she's going to head oh, out." That's fine. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've been on for two hours. We usually go on for three hours, Steve. So. <laughs> it, Feel free to to fuck off anytime you want. If you <laughs> are done with us, we want. Yeah, we, uh, we know that it. your delicate constitution can only typically stream right. for like an no, hour. No, I, I I do think I do think I am going to fuck off, but not because I'm not. I mean, I'm having a great time. Mm -hmm. Um, I just I just you know but I just, I just no, have but other, any I just have uh, either do. way, you don't have to justify yourself. It's just we <laughs> we have a tendency to talk a lot and uh <laughs> not everyone wants to spend three hours uh, in front of their uh computer doing nothing and talking with <laughs> a bunch of misfits <laughs> <laughs> well no i i am i think i, I am going to go but but i this i had so much fun this was so great mm -hmm. and uh, i would come back and do it anytime so so we'll see you awesome. next week. You're ready. So now, <laughs> <it's a, laughs> I can't. Do it. Okay, Larry yelling envy. Uh, I can't. I can't do it every week, but I would. I would love to do it. <laughs> I, I, I would. That was freaky. I just got a notification that Larry yelling envy shared one of my shared one of my posts. I literally just name dropped him. Um, that's so weird. You. Anyway, yeah. So, but I this was this was this was great, and I would love to do this again. So, mm -hmm. good, you did. This was a lot of fun. Good. Thank you for coming yeah. on, Steve. Yeah, it was great. All right. Yeah, Bye, everybody. and we had a good discussions about politics, which I like. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I too am. Uh, am actually going to probably head off. Uh, mm. well, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Were you there? <laughs> was, I, was I here? No, I never was. <laughs> I am not now, and I've never been uh, a member of the Allied Party of the United States. <laughs> yeah, you only say that because we didn't talk about butts. <laughs> no, we did. We brought up bus stuff. You said in yeah, your butt, in your butt, in your butt. Funny. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I just and in our butts, in our butts, in our butts, because we all lost and fishy, fishy freak out. That was funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> and was, I'm not going to stay for long either. I think I'm going to stay like 10, 15 minutes more because uh, I'm, I'm really tired today. Well, today. well I'm feeling I'm like a nap too. So than... why don't we just go ahead and call it? You I want did. to yeah. end now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that seems fair. I yeah, mean, for once, we're, we're only going two hours. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's more than fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do we have plenty of good time? We had like yes. good, good chats. We also allowed Steve to like uh, share his opinions on things, and that was good. Yeah. Chomsky's anti Antifa? I was not aware of that. I don't think so. I don't According to uh, Skypie. Yes, is very yeah. much like. Don't mm. be violent, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
I can see him making that take. Yeah, I, I don't agree. Yeah. I mean, he's 130 years old, too. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who uh, cares? It, it's, so, that was Steve Shives. We all know him. And uh, there's Summer in the Geek YouTube channel. For those who don't know him, you can find him on YouTube. He's uh, mm-hmm. Where uh, Steve Shives is his channel. Yes. So, yes. Well, choose, sometimes he makes those... videos about uh, Star Trek mostly these days. <laughs> but sometimes about politics too. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah. sometimes about politics. And uh, he used to be doing some stuff about atheism. Mm-hmm. But, but mm-hmm. that gets old after a while. I mean, there's only so many ways you can keep on answering the easiest question in the world. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's, uh, Which isn't great... that easy because. A lot of people get the great... answer wrong. Yeah. I I I argue that faith isn't about reason, but mm-hmm. that's a has... whole uh, other conversation. Conversation here. Yeah, I, he I'm an a... I'm an atheist, but I yeah. I don't think I am necessarily right. <laughs> it's just saying I'm Go an ahead, atheist, Jimmy. and I do think I'm necessarily right. So yeah, he has a great but, show about uh, about stuffed animals, uh, stuffed, stuffed animals. animals, and uh, yeah, he he writes and stars boyfriends. in his own sitcom. <laughs> yes, two it boyfriends, stars two boyfriends who are uh, who are a dog and a bear. Yes, mm-hmm. Toby Benson and Jet and Jack McPherson. <laughs> yes, yeah, but it's nice to fucking know, isn't it? <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh... you are a bunch of, of fun babes. I'm yep. not as into uh, Steven Stoffy as you are. I like it, but I'm not watching every episode. <laughs> I I, I, I need to catch up. Toby and Jack wished me a happy birthday. Yes. When, uh... Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I, I I remember that. <laughs> At the same time, as someone else was uh, screaming about me to a uh, live audience for several hours. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> was that Vosh? Oh, yeah. yeah, it yeah. was at that time. <laughs> Did anyone say Antifa was an organization, David? <laughs> I have mm. a trouble reading now. I swear my eyes are so tired. David I think says, my brain is okay, w. but my eyes. Antifa, Antifa is an organization. Is I um, I no, I know the CEO. Not. It's not really. <laughs> <laughs> I know the CEO. Yeah, we've dated. <laughs> Are you still here? I thought you were fucking off. Yeah, I am yeah. fucking off. All right, well, let us say goodbye because <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fuck I off too. To, yeah, I get a chance to actually uh, say say uh, goodbye, like actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll I'll see y'all next week. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh yay! Are you coming next week? Uh yeah, I will be. Yes. Huzzah! Huzzah! I like when you come. Then. Uh, I have had a lot of people say those words to me. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure not <laughs> in the same sense I am. I'm I not didn't talking, want to say it. I'm fucking not talking to you anymore, okay? <laughs> I love the Jamie but it's just like, I know I shouldn't say anything. I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> All right, y'all have a, y'all have a good uh, week. We'll do. Two for that shit. <laughs> All yeah, right. let's fuck off. Charity links yeah, down below. Yeah, bye, babes. Yep. Fuck off. And I See will be week. getting up super early at the ass crack at noon in order to participate in my other podcast, Dungeons and Debacles. Mm. Oh, wait. No, no. We're not recording tomorrow. Somebody's out of town. <laughs> so you can <laughs> sleep in So I get to sleep in. <laughs> are, you, are, you still, are you still trying to make pitches now? <laughs> yeah. I won't go on so I, I stop. So All because... Right. People want to fuck off, so that's yeah. very fine. So we're done. Yep. Goodbye, fuck comrades. Off, potential Take your comrades. Meds. Take your meds. Rock. Wait, wait. I, I stop. Stop. I accidentally pressed the stop streaming button. So it's okay. Next so week. it will have no, no. I hit the start streaming button again. So will there should it? It'll, there'll be a blip. Is what I'm saying. <coughs> okay. But so now we can thank our patrons at least. Yes, we can definitely thank our patrons. And there are four of them, so I should be able to remember them off the top of my head, even though I don't. Oh, five. Oh, four, because one of them is you. Yes. (laughs) 
So thank you to Negrega and Lisa and Squirrel and Von Rack. Thank you thank to our you, patrons. Babes. Patreon.com slash we love you. Well, we would love you even if you weren't patrons. Yes. 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 We love you more. 